What's going on, everybody? So, Beats Brews, Points of View, episode eight, here with E-Man, as always. Damn, thanks. That's right, E-Man. You want to introduce our guest today? Oh, uh, yes. We have, from Fourth and Gold Records, we have Breeze here today. Yo, yo, what's the deal, bro? <laughs> All right, man. So let's talk a little bit about, uh, before we get into the beer real quick, let's talk a little bit about the collab project you guys got, you and uh, High Potency. Yeah, the EP. Yeah. Um, after, I think after we had both dropped like solo projects, we was kind of like just, just chilling as far as, far as uh, the direction we were going okay. with our next music. And uh, we was at, he's at my crib chilling at my old spot or whatever. And he's at my crib chilling one day. We just chilling, smoking or whatever. I'm like, yo. We should uh, we should, we should just drop something. He was, he was totally with it. So he just uh, he had like fucking, he was just like, you know, my fucking uh, a hoarder of sorts. He had so many beats. He was like, what you this one? What you, this one? you know what I'm saying? He basically like came up with all the beats for the project. So it was just like, all right, boom, 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 yeah, yeah, or nay. You know what I'm saying? With yeah. the beats. And then for you know, we had like seven or eight joints. And the joint was dropping. It's nice to have someone like that in your corner that's just constantly working and making yeah. beats. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> you guys say you got the video coming out soon, too? Yeah, we got the back and forth video shot by Eon Zero. Okay. Secret, uh, the track dealer on the production. Nice. Okay. That, you so, know. Uh, next, Sweet 20, uh, 328? Uh, yep. 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 Cool. That's sweet. Right. That's sweet. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them. So he made the BA, we recorded it there. You know what I'm saying? And we shot downtown and downtown in the run and I was okay. nice. And um it was dope. Okay. It came out pretty sweet. Is that where you recorded your video at or were you in I shot it all around Ipsy. Oh, was it Ipsy? Yes, yeah, right. Both okay. well, of you guys got videos dropping soon. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be good stuff. Oh, shout out to uh, Juan Michael who just joined by the way. Oh uh, nice. <laughs> Um, a Beats and Brews alumni. So tonight we're going to try something <laughs> a little God. new while we're pouring up our beers so you don't got to listen to us pouring and clinking glasses and shit like that. We're going to play a little bit of music and we're going to put on a little bit of his music while we're playing. Right. So I'm going to kick off the album. You with got the a specific intro. track you want to play? Um, you can play back and forth. All right. Let's do it. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> it only makes sense. What up, bro? <laughs> So today we got, uh, what's it, Odd Sides? From Odd side, from Grand Haven, Michigan, we got the Imperial Mayan. This is a uh, mocha stout. Mocha stout. Mocha stout. With that of cinnamon, nutmeg, and all that good shit. <laughs> well, Michael, uh, tell Breeze I love the video with Hypo. And Habanero? Yes, Habanero. Oh, shit, it's spicy beer, right? <laughs> That's crazy. Tell one, uh, we got to shoot on the... Um, I know he got that freaky gimbal. Gotta, uh, <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's a podcast. It's a lot of difficulty. <laughs> it's, it's authentic. Appreciate it. Yeah, wow. We got uh, we got to shoot, man, with that freaky gimbal you got, man. And we got to do a collab. Treated like some pussy ain't a bitch that I couldn't fuck with me on my off day. When I fuck your bitch, she got a hot heart like Terrence Ross J. All right. Did you and she catch everything? Randy Moss and Imperial. So you can kind of tell like the head on this like the bubble and the cap. Yeah, you like it for real. So many times I've been here, but I'm a new boss. Hey, fuck you. I'm trying to listen to the boss. Dark for you guys. Cover looks like Imperial Mayan. You got got like that dark moose. Strong body. Fuck is a doll. If you ever fucking roast them all, you'll be there from the moment the niggas show up. And also, if you play with them, I'm backstage trying to roll up. And a little bit of that heat, and I'm sure. Like, fuck it, though. Run the show, my nigga. Fuck it, dude. That was a little bit of back and forth by Breeze and High Potency. That's off their joint album together. Little Razzle Dazzle. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I like that, man. Ooh, let's yeah. dive into that some more when, uh, when this podcast wraps. Just like that sweet and spicy taste to it. This is like a really good balance. Yeah. yeah. It has like you can tell like the nutmeg character to it, but like yeah, like kind of like that roasted malt, cool. and then it still has like that like kick from like the habanero. One of them you, thick ones. What would you say would be a good food pairing with this? Ooh, uh, honestly, this would probably go go like straight up like like chocolate stuff like that. Like say like what do you call those things? Like the little fucking like chocolate like square things okay. i forgot what you actually call them okay but yeah like this one i don't know what you're I can't about. Think... I the name of the cookies too <laughs> oh man uh, i'm drawing a blank here 
Shit, biscottis? Is that what they're called? No, no, not biscottis, but those like would, those cookie. wouldn't be bad. Some though. little fancy ass cookies. Yeah, it would, it would, it would, it <laughs> would. This is more like a like a dessert beer almost. I feel mm-hmm. like this is not like yeah, something sure. you want to eat with like. So I can't see it pair like chicken or beef or anything like that because it's just way too like dark. Right. It's probably what's the ABV on this? I think Let's that see. I think that you could pair this with like some brisket and it wouldn't be awful. Right, this is ten percent, guys. Some thinly sliced. Some <laughs> thinly, this is ten percent. This is ten percent. By the way, some thinly, some thinly sliced brisket, or maybe even like some brisket mac, and I could, I could drink this with that. Oh yeah, yeah, that's good. That's yeah, this that's is that right. sense. This is definitely not the going out and drinking. No, this is a this is a sipper. It'll make you full as hell. This is just <laughs> a, yeah. Yes, very good. This is the last beer of the night. This is like a, this is a total winner <laughs> beer right here. Definitely. Shit, I don't even know if I'm finished this. Be honest with you. This is a uh, you, you throw your snuggie on. Before you <laughs> oh, let me get that bottle back to you. Yeah, absolutely. So, so on that, so this is actually a, the SRM scale right here. So you got the standard, uh, what was the standard uh, something method? I forgot. Uh, oh, what was the R? Uh, shit, I don't know. You have to look it up. Darn. Okay. Well, <laughs> anyway, so what it is, the SRM scale, what it is, is the actual, like, coloration of beer. You kind of go out here, and, like, this is probably going to be as dark as you can fucking get, to be honest with you. Absolutely. <laughs> this is probably, yeah, it's at a 44 right here, looking at, like, right at the end. Coffee. Yeah, that's straight up like, coffee. <laughs> that's the shit uh, that I like, though. I like that's that shit I do like. <laughs> Fuck, man. That's <laughs> shit I do like. Most definitely. Oh, shit. I wanted to say at the top of the podcast because I just found out about it. Rest in peace to a Detroit legend, uh, Mike Clark from the Drew and Mike show. Oh, yeah, dude. I forgot about that. And, uh, I think two days ago. Um, I don't know if you guys aren't familiar with Drew. Most Detroiters probably are, but they've been on Detroit radio in the morning for fucking 20 plus years, you know, and they got, uh, they, when the riff, like, yeah, uh, uh, 89, 89X, right? They were, no, 89X was, um, Dave and Chuck, and okay. they were on 101 The Riff, and then yeah. uh, their contracts were up, and Dave and Chuck ended up going over to The Riff, and they started just running a podcast instead of doing their show. Because, I mean, they were kind of, like, later, like, towards more towards retirement anyways, I think, in the radio game. But, like, yeah, he was only 63, but he had had some health complications for a while. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, rest in peace. I was part of the reason I wanted to do radio was Mike Clark, so just had to say that at the top of this. Well, Michael, say call me tomorrow, by the way. Word. Hell, yeah. I got you, buddy. Son, <laughs> we're making collabs happen on our podcast. All right, shit. I'm taking it. Work, 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 <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. So, what we got to talk about today, dude? I guess we could probably start with some of the music releases that came out last week that we've been listening to. Um, we had the Quavo release, which man, not a fan. I'm gonna be honest with you, straight up. Like, it, it doesn't sound like. I think the easiest review of it. Without being too harsh, to me, it just sounds like 19 tracks of like background party music. It sounds like the same shit. I mean, yeah. You know what I mean? Each track is like, pushing yeah. the out. like, you're not mad at listening to it, but it's not doing anything. Like, he's not really pushing the yeah. the bar at all. I mean, like, I, I give it to him and Migos because they, they have their lane and they're good at it. Don't get me wrong. In fact, there's a lot of shit I do like from them. I just wasn't a fan of this album. Yeah. I think Offset, uh, Offset and Metro Woman was far superior to this album. Even uh, <laughs> collab was the Huncho Jack he did with uh, Travis Scott. I yeah, like that album too. Yeah, that was yeah. Cool too. But have you listened to that at all? I haven't listened no. to it. Uh, but I work with some young guys, some big Migo fans. Yeah. And they don't even like it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that internet was kind of roasting it too, man. I yeah, saw a lot of see the Shannon, uh, Shannon Sharp joint? No. <laughs> Is he like, about I it? fucking love Shannon no, Sharp. It's like, uh, <laughs> it's like Quavo drops solo album. And then it's Shannon Sharp. Skip, skip. skip. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did see that. I did skip. 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 <laughs> I love. I, I was just talking about how much I love Undisputed. By the way, that's completely on top. Yeah. I, I have my, I have my uh, black and my mom. <laughs> <laughs> my mom in my gas. So, you know. Know. Yeah, yeah. Skip. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute, Skip. <laughs> that show is fucking hilarious. <laughs> I remember when that would happen, man. Uh, see that live. That's funny. All right. All right sure, sure. Yeah, I didn't pay too much attention to the Quavo album. The album that I've been paying attention to most the drop was the Belly album. The Belly album was dope. And I just listened to the whole thing Ooh. today, actually. It's uh, it's got a lot. Like, it's great music, but you're also learning some shit. I love like, those track with, uh, yeah. with yeah. MIA. He has a track with MIA and uh, Meek Mill. And Meek Mill, yeah. yeah it's, oh, I think yeah. that song is actually, let's see, the name of that song. I I'm just seeing a picture of uh, Meek Mill recording with Young Guru. Ooh. I saw that, too. 
It was me, Guru, and someone else was in the yeah, studio too. Somebody wasn't else. Who was that on there? Guru was amazing. Yeah, me recording with Guru. That's fire. I would like to record Guru. Where I signed. I think me going to jail turned out to be like the best thing that ever happened to him, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. A hey, so my turn to jail, career. Right? Hey, some people, people turn tragedy into triumph. You know what I'm Look at Gucci. Gucci oh, changed his whole life for that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's like Gucci changed his whole life after he got out of jail. So yeah. Yeah, that's a bunch of weight and everything. Shit, oh, yeah. <laughs> that one time, that it was just the injustice behind it. Like people rally behind it. Oh, me mm-hmm. middle thing. That was yeah. kind of shit. Like, was it popping a wheelie? Yeah, oh, yeah. Wheelie for riding a bike. Fuck out of here. That's a whole other story, man. Like that's how a probation system Fuck works. Fuck out of so. here, young bull. <laughs> if I ever did it again and had to go back, I would have just done jail time the first time I ever get popped. Because you get put on probation, bro. That's how the cycle starts. Right. <laughs> you know, it would just be like ten years later, you're right. finally getting radio. Oh, Say so you played that game before. Yep. I played that game before. I don't know if you have, but yeah, right. it was wild. <laughs> you yeah. anywhere near Washington County, that ain't got that. Ass. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and that's a fact. Dude. Yeah, that song is actually the title track. It's called Immigrant Big Miller mm-hmm. and uh, nice. MIA. So, MIA yeah. just got a small part on it, but I mean, it's no, it was the, yeah, her part's only like thirty seconds. I don't know. Yeah, she's been MIA. Right. <laughs> <laughs> For real. And he's got French Montana on there too. They yeah. always sound like they're like perfect together, a perfect pairing. Um, but yeah, go check out Belly in- Immigrant. Oh. I checked out some uh, some shit outside of rap this week too. The ones that I thought were pretty good was uh, there's this dude Matthew Deer who kind of makes like it's a kind of an eclectic mix of shit. Like some of the tracks are like EDM sounding, some kind of sound like indie music. Like oh, it was pretty good though. Word. And then I listened to uh, Kurt Vile. It's called Bottle It In. He kind of reminds me of, like Lou Reed from the Talking Heads a little bit. Okay. So that was kind of tight. And then I finally got around to uh, TDE's newest artist, uh, Reason. That motherfucker is nice. I haven't I, listened I, to that album yet. That album is tight. It's called you There You Have It. Uh, um, uh, BT Cyphers? No. Yeah, I, think he's on the Cyphers. I didn't actually watch it because I don't have – so we have, like, internet cable. We're going to talk about Vic Mensa for a minute on that note. But I haven't, yeah, I haven't watched any of BT Cyphers yet. All right. So I went back. That's the only one I did watch. I went back – to see what Big Mensa said, because there was so much shit going on before it even came out. I, did they mute they, something? No, they, didn't, like, they I didn't, mute something out of it. I was going to say, it, actually, it, it was like a direct shot at him. Okay, out. yeah. Because I was going to say, if that's what everyone was up in arms What's about, the bar? I would missed it. Fuck. Um, said something about, like, uh, you know, something about X, right? Yeah, it was, it was about Legends that. are abusers. Your favorite legends are abusers or something like that. It was something direct at him. I'll, uh, I'll check it out real quick. Something please. about talking at a eulogy or something like that though like speaking at like speaking it was they made it really fucked up because his mom know. was in the crowd when he said but he didn't so, know that though. he, he didn't Cypress know had recorded like no. weeks and weeks prior to the actual award show yeah so i don't know i think people are getting a little too did too you see the end of that, that uh the end of that that group the Vic Minta group Mm-mm. Uh-huh. oh wait was it uh nick grant yeah nick grant fucking body yeah nick crazy, <laughs> he's so crazy man nick grant is the i saw um I went to see Nick Grant at Burn Rubber a couple years back in Royal Oak. Mm-hmm. He had a fucking silent listening party. Oh. That shit was fresh, dog. Oh, man. I'm a big fan of his. Like, yeah, I think people got, have been sleeping on him because he's, he's got, got a couple bars. albums out now. The LA Leakers freestyles he be doing? Murder. Murder. What was the uh, – Nick Grant put out an album last year, I believe. Well, I guess it's considered – I don't really know the difference between mixtapes and albums Return anymore because the they're all on here. Return of the Cool, but then he had another one. I know he has After a, that. Oh, this shit with the uh, uh, Nicky Boumaye on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's oh, my one. God. He's snapping on that one. What's the name of him? Dreaming Out Loud. Yeah. Dreaming Out Loud came out last year. Yeah, Nick Grant. If you guys aren't familiar with him, he's one of the like, actually never heard of rappers that's yeah. with you. Really? Yeah, oh, I've never heard man. of him. I'm late to the party. I'll play some shit after the podcast. Uh, he's like, one, one of them, like, real lyrical motherfuckers, like, like He's one of them dudes that like studies the greats, you know what I mean? Yeah, you can tell he, like bro, all of his bars and shit. He's are, like, bar he's, fire. He's I got really on him, I was at work one day, we were just on that fifth. We just threw 88 on. And motherfucking, that shit came on, he started snapping. And that went, the shit he did over window seat drop. He crazy. said, some, some of them from we're t- we're t- thicker than Jill Scott. Yeah. And I'm just, <laughs> bro, a couple more lines, I'm just like, okay, I started fucking with these heavies. I'll play you one right now, it was fucking. Hold on. Joey Badass posted a little clip of him going off the top in the studio today. Ooh, uh, Joey Badass? Going yeah. On? I'm trying to find, I'm still trying to find like the actual muted bar from that group thing, by the way. Word. Yeah, I see that he had came out and said something before the shit even dropped. And then he had that eulogy track that came out too. The it was like a little clip it. of it. Here's the little thing I saw from Joey. 
Pastors, I'm sitting proper, and my little boy posture bumping popper. Who shot ya? Can't kill him with the pot truck. Two shots of them done know that. Picking niggas off, no code that. I go put your picture on your shirt like I owe that. Tell this mom. <laughs> you went on for a while longer. I just recorded a little clip. Okay. I'm fucking I'm trying to find the actual Instagram clip of it, but man, I love Joey Badass. He's another brush, breath of fresh air. Yeah, he'd be snapping. Uh, are y'all up on Sylvan LeCue? Mm -mm. No. Oh, man, this dude named Sylvan LeCue from Florida. I'm Florida. glad you're here because he's not shot in the right now, man. He's That's South Florida, so he's fucking fire. But he moved to LA for like three years. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? He's like just coming back home and shit. But, uh, he fired. He got some joints called uh like Selfish is Fire, Best Me, um, Guilt Trip. He got he got some joint his his joint is called Apologies in Advance. Mm -hmm. And they like set it up like it's like an AA meeting. So they be like, welcome, <laughs> welcome to the AA. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The steps are all like working on yourself type shit. You know what I'm saying? I like that so shit. So it's really dope. That you know kind of reminds me of like the concepts like Joyner Lucas comes up with and okay. shit like that yeah. a little bit. Yeah, Joyner's crazy. Oh, Joyner has a song out. Yo, he got that. He just, he just, love, he just dropped the video oh, actually, too. Yeah, that song is so hard, right now. <laughs> man. Joyner is the man right now. Join us so crazy. Speaking of the like the men, like the the real, you know what I'm saying? Up top, up top, fucking Cole. Ooh. He just dropped that fucking uh, Black just dropped the video. The yeah, with the uh, like, yeah. yeah. Bro, I dancing. love that Cole like switches up his flow on that too. He it's like so on, oh, he man. just dancing on that bitch the whole time, like salsa mambo. <laughs> that shit's hard. I went to see Cole at uh, Little Caesars. Oh, did you go to that? Fire, bro. How was the concert sound in there? I haven't been to a concert there yet. Shit, dog. I got some videos on my phone and shit. But so I fucking fired, dog. Uh, it was just dope. It was dope. Just I heard they got like a real supreme sound system up in there for concerts and shit. Yeah, it's really dope. I mean, it's basically he just kept it like you could tell, like where we'll be on the floor where the court was. He was basically like the stage was set up at where one of the bathrooms would be. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was basically like that, you know. So if you think about it, the way Little Caesars is set up, it's it's one of these, mm -hmm. you know, as opposed to like being like super open. It's kind of like a vortex. That's why if you get like sixty dollars seats. They still fire because you know what I'm saying. The angle is just so. Some of those are real. Yeah, I went there for a Wings game like last year, but I haven't so, been there for a concert. So the music, yeah. you know what I'm saying, basically just reverber it reverberates well. Yeah, you know that that whole stadium so, is nice. Everything's expensive as hell there, but it's nice. It's just, it's just, <laughs> I really wish I would have gone to that because I haven't seen Cole. Like I've seen Cole twice. Uh -huh. I saw him on the Friday Night Lights when he just had the mixtape yeah. out. And then I saw him after he dropped his first album. Okay. But I heard now, like, his concerts, like, the, the yeah, controlling the crowd. Yeah, so many hits, though. You know <laughs> yeah. I mean? He has so many hits off of 2014 fours. Because there was a point in, in, in the show where he's like, all right, y'all remember 2014? Everybody's like, woo! <laughs> and he's like, all right, I'm about to do, like, six songs. I'm just <laughs> like, what? Like, six songs? Like, it's not even okay. that tour. But it makes sense because. First thing, first recipe, suck a fan. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I remember, remember I saw him. Um, <laughs> okay. Like, a couple years ago, they did the Big Show at the Yelp. Uh -huh. Like, Joe Lewis, they had J. Cole, Trey Songz, Kendrick, and Big Sean. Man. Okay. That was a huge fucking tour. Right. So you had, like, yeah, uh, awesome. I think Kendrick just came out Good Kid, Man City. Okay. Boy Center just Ooh. came out. Right. Uh, right, Hall of Fame. Hall, mm -hmm. I think Hall of Fame was on right. time. Yeah, yep. he's with Jimmy Aiko uh -huh. time. So yeah. You know what was dope about Cole? The first time I saw him actually was at Bonnaroo okay. in Tennessee at like that music festival in like uh, 2011. And he comes out and he's like, "See, I'm at I'm at one of these festivals and there's a lot of rock stars here." And he's like, "And rock stars at these music festivals, they always cover their favorite artists. So why can't these fucking rappers? Why can't we cover artists? So I'm about to do some covers." And he did uh, fucking. Tupac right into Biggie. He covered Tupac and then he covered Biggie <laughs> right dope. back to back and everyone was just fucking it was just right. like it was amazing, bro. That's hard. Actually my friend's <laughs> my friend Stephanie's boyfriend fucking passed out of that show. <laughs> it was like 110 degrees in Tennessee. This man had to drink water all day. It's just fucking like a tree. <laughs> all right. Well there's a topic I actually want to bring up real quick. You know something that kind of it bugged me a little bit about they said that little Pete you know, rest in peace. But they said that he was the person who originated emo rap. Emo rap? Emo rap. Like that emotional type like, like shit. I don't agree with that at all, personally. I can't tell you who did it, but like, it wasn't. The there. first time I would notice it was probably around like Kid Cudi, like 808 The Heartbreaks there. I'd say Kid Cudi definitely it. ushered in a yeah, lot I of mean, that Kanye shit. Kanye definitely had, our, our Drake, Drake or Kanye, mm -hmm. definitely were one, some of the first ones I could think of. But I know it might be somebody even before that. Yeah, absolutely. There's you know, definitely I'm, people before I'm that. Out. 
Mac Miller was huge with that. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know what I'm saying? He Towards like, like the, yeah, early. like watching movies with the sound off is probably the first Eight episodes deep and we haven't gone on a podcast without mentioning Yeah, Mac yeah this is the eighth, episode, you know. eighth, eighth time we mentioned <laughs> Mac Miller. We mentioned Mac Miller every, po- every podcast. <laughs> Once love the right women. Oh, it was kind of nice seeing on the BT. I saw. Like, I, I started watching the Anderson little bit. Anderson Pockets. Yeah. I can't wait for Oxford. Oxford. I know you can't either. Anderson, he's so crazy. Y'all be fucking with the NPR Tiny Desk. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, dude. Uh, <laughs> yes. like, Anderson Pock fucks me up, man, because he'll just be playing. Like, he'll just be rapping and singing, and all of a sudden runs around the drum kit and starts. <laughs> 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 he's so good. Yeah, he's so fire. Yeah, bubbly. He's so fire. I just watched the Tyler Craters was good too. Tyler, yeah, Tyler was good. Tyler. Tyler. Yeah. The, the one that had me, that brought me in to have me hooked was T Pain. T Pain was so was dope, good. bro, because T Pain didn't use auto tune at all the yeah. whole time. T Pain can actually sing. His say, voice is quite good. T Pain can sing really well. Actually, I actually yeah. Yeah. Was, it's fire. I would, yeah. I would love to do one of his voice like that. Yeah, man, that, that, that shit's tight, too. And I think that'd be easier to set, like, obviously, maybe not necessarily through NPR. Actually, I don't know how hard it would be. Tiny Desk? But they do get a lot of legends. Yeah, you like, might have a big boy down there. You can really do a tiny, you can do a tiny desk down here. Anyway, you can do it right yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, straight yeah. Up. We can do it at the part right there. That'd be dope. You see my backyard. I'm a three-quarter acre backyard. Right. Right. He knows, yeah. Do some backyard day. Small backyard day. Small plug. Quarter three acre. Just small plug. Hey, I rent the house, though. It ain't that much of a plug. Get some fucking tiki torches and shit and call it a day. Crazy parties every so, you know. I think the tiki torches all got bought up in Charlottesville. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> One thing before we go to the next subject at the Cole concert, one of the, one of the dopest parts. He was like, uh, uh, "Practicing daily, sip so much activist, activist, activist. That should pay me. Practice made perfect. I'm practicing baby." So like, why he's why he's saying that? This motherfucker, and there's like three screens and like rectangular cubes. Mm-hmm. So three screens on each side. Why he's saying it like a gold emoji pops up. Uh, and so dope. Right. Right. <laughs> another one pops up. Oh, and they just start popping up and punching. And they just cover his head. You know what I'm saying? That's so so that shit's dope, bro. It was, it was a fire show. I really appreciate people like him and Kendrick and like Royce Five Nine too. Oh, like people that God. can like Royce, shout out like Ryan. Like, through like insane spinners, but still like feature like. Like, well, all right, so him and I studios, went and saw fucking Royce Man, and Ipsy at the fucking Blind Pig at this tiny ass show. We're like five feet away from Royce's oh, face. Man. He got like a full blown like uh, get home safe chant going. Like, yeah, he's preaching to me and like so. He's like, listen, you don't need them fucking drugs to do yeah. good at rap. And he's like, Trust yeah, you me, you, you were way better at rap. Yeah, yeah, Royce is dope. Yeah, Royce is dope. Yeah, y'all yeah. was at that show. We yeah, actually, yeah, 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 we yeah. actually. Uh, I, I got to talk to Kid before not. For like two seconds. No, like ninja 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 two for like two seconds, yeah. but like you probably don't remember that. I talked to him. I talked to Rice right when he was moving through the crowd. I'm like, bro, next time you gotta do ta- fucking tabernacle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah like, bro. I, he's who like, was it? Who's the open from? Nolan and Ninja. Nolan yeah, Ninja. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Nolan Ninja. Yeah, he was just like, y'all rushed me up. He's like, they rushed me up, like you know. Yep. That's nice. Type shit. That show was fucking awesome, man. That show was, was awesome. Was, was nice. And when he had, like, I love that he had his, like, family out there. Like, he had uh, Kid Vicious spit, like, a fucking acapella, like, yeah, right in the middle yeah, of his set. Like, like, you know, like, that yeah, shit's tight. Right. Yeah. Me and Hypo, we did 30 minutes, a 30 minute set there in January of this year. Oh, did you? Yep. Yeah. Shit was dope. I really like that place, man. Like, Blind yeah, Pig, 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 well, yeah. besides the fucking staff, the bar staff sucks. Y'all need to get your fucking bar. Yeah, I'm not a fan of, I'm not a fan of the staff at all. Fuck you guys. I got a whole vendetta. You just need to be more friendly, bro. I got like two of the most monstrosities motherfucking hey, white dudes ever. Like I got I got bar. screwed out of an opening spot for Asher off like five years ago. Really? So yeah, <laughs> that's the whole thing. Big like, hey, yeah. shout out to Asher, <laughs> bro. I love, yeah, I love Asher, Asher off. You just part of the uh that double XL cover, bro. Oh yeah, that, that, that was one of the most classic ones, yeah. Mm-hmm. They're awesome. It was like two thousand what? 10, 10, yeah, yeah, 10, 10, 10, 10. They're all still shit. His, uh, especially my dog, Currency. Just like, I love Currency. I saw you post that shit about Currency today. Man. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's one of my favorite rappers of all time. E Man's new to Currency. I'm him new to the world. Currency party. Oh, yeah, I'm man. new to the Jet Life party. Yep. Well, I know he drops some, like, like, I, 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 I was just talking about it. He was like one of the most consistent rappers I've ever seen. Fresh in the Prince Bottle. And I'm Powerball like Lotto. This is something we've been talking about on the podcast, too. Like, uh, prolific rappers, like, so a lot, the two names that come up the most have been Currency and Styles P. Okay. Styles, man, I, speaking of it. got that Davies project. Fuck, yeah. Just drop oh, that, though, right? Had, all right, so, so hard, just, just for a minute, just let's just think about this. So Styles, in 2017, dropped a solo album, a locks album, and a joint album with Talib Kweli. Now, this year, 
He's already dropped the Dave East project and then just announced that he's got his solo project coming out on the 2nd of November. <laughs> this motherfucker doesn't sleep. Well, Jadakiss just posted a clip on his fucking page. He was just murdering. Yeah, Logic's yeah. another one like that, yeah. too, if you really think about it. It inspires me watching, like, the, the rappers we grew up, like, our 90s rappers fucking still, still at it. Just destroying shit. Like, yeah, I was, trying to, I was trying to get my currency on this year. I wanted to drop from fucking... April to fucking December, but the powers that be, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. but I'm still putting mm -hmm. out a good, like, probably like four to six, though. At the end, you know what I'm saying? After it's all yep. still be out before fucking New Year. That's kind of how I am. It's like, I want to do probably one main project and then probably a collab project, and then, you know, I'm just going back to beats and brewing stuff. And I feel you. Know. 2019, I'm going to be chilling. I'm going to be chilling, <laughs> doing features and shit, shooting videos and shit. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to, like, push out a shit ton of content before the year's over. Mm -hmm. Cause I have a shit ton of content. Mm -hmm. Push out a bunch of it, get it out. A lot of people, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I didn't get it, you know, do it month by month by month or whatever. But now it's just kind of like piling up. So I might just do like a fucking do my own like good music type of shit. Like, there like, you go. You get the Pusha album, mm -hmm. then you get Tiana Taylor album, but it's just gonna be like you get the Breeze EP. See, the Breeze that's EP, the two. Which, the which two did he just mention? Push Tiana Taylor. Yeah. <laughs> yep. We always talk about that's the only two that we really gave a fuck about. <laughs> that whole rollout, bro. The Tiana and the Push album. Yeah. <laughs> I love Nas shit had a couple tracks. I like nah, the, I, no, no, no. I, I like the Kanye. I like the Kanye Nas and Dream track. I did too. Uh, uh, everything. Yeah, 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 I love that song. Yeah, it's a, it's that's probably one of my favorite songs this year. Probably. My yeah. only thing about that shit roll was like for like since we hadn't had an album before that since 2012 out of Nas, which is what uh, Life Is Good. And then to get like a seven song EP basically, and two of the tracks got fucking I think, Kanye featured. I on think it. this is my theory. <laughs> this is my theory, right? Oh, uh, we can't forget Big Sean. Yeah, that's we, true. We yeah. almost shit it on Big Sean. <laughs> yeah. Wait, you're talking about all of you? You talking about good music? Yeah. Like, Big Sean is definitely my motherfucker. One of my Shy the Prince. Shy the Prince. No high. church on Sunday. Yo, no no church on Sunday is so fucking dope. I always get slept on. Shy highs. But Pete, though, I feel as though Shy High and Sean, but mainly Sean, that's my theory. I feel like Sean was like, you know what I'm saying, coming to like Good Music Headquarters and like looking at the like the release date <laughs> calendar and seeing like seven seven track projects, <laughs> rah rah bullshit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he was like, nope. all right, I'm gonna just drop this shit with Metro Boom. <laughs> I'm gonna just drop this shit with Metro Boom. <laughs> and then, I should be excused. Mm -hmm. I should be excused for this not, you know what I'm saying, for this not. Because he did his own album. He did I Decided, and then he did the Metro Woman. Like, yeah. 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 So he was like, and this just, just to make sure, like, I turned my paper in, and this is extra credit, just to make sure. I'm you can tell he wasn't fucking with that rollout no, either, because he didn't promote none of that. No, he didn't promote a damn thing. I didn't even see him in Wyoming. No, no. He's probably not with that shit. Like, there's so many... There is a lot of people that like it's not a game. He probably don't want to be. Probably don't want to be an African Lee right now. No hell no. Yeah, yeah. what's that? You got under some shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's <laughs> pissed off the fucking uh, the president. You got to get presidents over there, right? Yeah. yeah. President. He said that he's about to turn Uganda into Jurassic Park. Oh some shit. god. Kanye's pissing a lot of people off right now, man. Yeah, man. It's not looking good for him. Apparently, like, like well, I don't want to. Do, I don't want to do gossip shit, but yeah. I don't even feel like listening yeah. to his fucking album when it comes out. Like, well, Yandi. Yeah, I don't even fucking like. It's Honestly, the most fun I've been for Kanye. Like, what y'all think about Ye? I hate it. I love two songs on it. Like, Ghost Town, I fuck with That's hard, what I was thinking. I, was thinking I, was I love Ghost Town. Talk about the good music rollouts. I feel as though like you give me like a couple songs off Kiss He Goes and a couple songs. Oh, off the, I love I love parts off, of Kiss He Goes too. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's a dope album. Just give me one. Like, uh, there's also that mental block. Ghost like, Town. What was the second song on Ye? Uh, yikes! Yeah, yeah. I like that song too. There's also like a mental blocker that happens to me with you right now, though, because like all the other bullshit, like it clouds my I'm a superhero. <laughs> like his his antics and shit cloud my judgment of like the actual. Oh, music. like the little pump shit, for instance. Just everything, like that's my that's that, that, that's uh, that's my superpower. I mean, the boot licking of him, like fucking being up there with Trump, like I I don't just like you, I fucking love you. Like, you talking like him, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I mean, on? Like, the only thing I will say positive about the the, the streaming is, shit. Did you heard about that bill? No, well, the streaming service like you get like minimum wage not for like streaming. Uh uh, but I heard I did hear about the fucking snow stopping frisk, fucking like prison reform. Mm -hmm. so, and Trump actually did. Oh, sign, amend sign. like the Thirteenth Amendment. Yeah, yeah. Then, then, uh, Trump did sign with yeah about the prison reform. Then it was free and Larry Hoover. Mm -hmm. Um, fucking brain factories to America and like one other thing. Then that's all I speak on because that's all I can. You know what I'm saying? No, there's a like. 
I, I, I know about that. Yeah, yeah, I can speak on that. Yeah. All the rest of the shit, I can't speak on. But and we already know what that shit really is. It's right. all fucking just uh, Trump's way to try to get more black votes. You know what I mean? That's really it, and it's not going to work. I mean, it's fucking stupid. Oh, but no. Not, like, no one... Like, I actually hey, want to read hey, this hey, off hey, if you guys get a chance. So, <laughs> Trump signs a bill that music streaming services pay artists royalties. Wait, what? Did, did this actually rolled out like a a week ago or so. Okay. So. Did I hear about Spotify? You don't got to go through a third party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we talked about that a couple weeks ago. Yeah, okay, word. Oh, yeah, I can't wait for word. that. Word. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's actually kind of even cool. Like, so now we're getting into a place where podcasts are so becoming so popular that like that's something even him small and I can plug, like, another that. small plug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Plug <laughs> this is so. <laughs> this, to clarify uh, the bill, the new law in part also ensures that songwriters and artists get royalties on songs recorded before 1972. Uh, certain entertainers have been taking advantage for years, but no longer thanks to Trump. Can you believe it? President Trump said the yeah. Music Modernization Act. So I guess it's just so, you know, like how about streaming a, people get paid. It's not, it has nothing to do with that streaming thing, but more about Trump. Like, how about Obama bossing up on him? Did you see that shit? Oh, oh. <laughs> he did a little oh, press yeah. conference. No, on, on, on Trump. Oh, okay. He did what a little you, press conference. What did he say? And he's like, I see all these headlines and shit about people talking about how great the economy is. He's like, it was, then he la- names off his stats, the shit that he did when he was in office. He's like, just don't get into it. I'm paraphrasing. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> this is what he wanted to say. Don't get it twisted. I'm the reason that fucking economy is good. This you is still the coattails of me. You got to pull out the, uh, you pull out the, uh, the Obama, uh, the narrator yeah. from Kia Field. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Luther. Yeah, Luther. 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 <laughs> Pull this for a sec, bro. I, I know what Joe Budden's always talking about now. It gets hot when you're fucking recording these podcasts. Yeah, I get all sweaty and shit. Oh man, I got. Like, it's a couple of them. It's a couple of them Joe Budden's I gotta watch, man. His last one with Push. Did you see that shit? Man, I be just seeing Ooh. clips, dog. I, I just be so fucking. No pun intended. Well, all pun intended. Clips. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I just be seeing clips and shit, man. I just be fucking sports out listening to beats. Trying to motherfucking get these joints. Me and my uh, me and my uh, homeboy, uh, fellow producer, not fellow producer because I'm not a producer, but he's a producer, mm-hmm. and uh, he's been coming over making beats like every other week. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And uh, we got like five bangers in the stash. We probably gonna do like ten. I still ain't dropped. He got game. My album halfway done. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Lots of shit about, coming. Yeah, think about dropping material. some other shit. Me and Mike C, we got like five. You know what I'm saying? That so, shit's exciting though, bro. That's no, what I, it just yeah. feels good. Bro. It's like it's just like you gotta stay in the house. Ooh, we'll see you in the house. You're right. in the house. You work it. Ooh, drop. Mm-hmm. I get to come out the house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so exactly. I mean, that, right. that's what it is. So him and I went to uh, our boy. We we have a mutual friend, uh, Nick Small. He, he's shout out to Nick Small. Shout out to that casual. He's yeah, that solo up right now. Okay. He's like. He's learned how to do everything himself. He's got he, he set up his own studio and his Bro, that dude basically. kills some beats too. Bro, I was just we were just doing like, some shit last he night. Plays shit that, like, I don't want to like put him in a box, but he plays some shit that sounds like kind of like Jack Johnson vibes, like kind of like chill, like 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 just chill beach music yeah, kind of shit. But he's like, I'm not trying to limit it because he's got like the shit that's going on in his new album that he showed us last night. It's fucking yeah. insane. Dope. But like we're we're chilling there. Like, he knows that E Man's a rapper, so he's like, all right, let me just fucking freestyle over like some beat he just made. He just I'm starts like, fucking making the beat right there, and then he starts freestyling, bro. Like, <laughs> that cool. that yeah. beat was cold as fuck too. So Shout to Nick Small, bro. That <laughs> reminds me of uh, my, my neighbor, dog. He's a DJ, mm-hmm. and I went over there the other day, and he gave me like the spiel, his like introduction, you know, what I'm saying and how he got into it. And then he gave me like the backstory about he told me about his equipment. Mm-hmm. Then he just starts fucking cutting, Mm-mm-mm, cutting and blending, cutting and blending. Then he just starts throwing me loops. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and like every time he go to throw me a loop, he's cutting. Woo, woo. Then every time he go to throw me a loop, he like breathe. <laughs> you know I just I was just going in, bro. We was fucking free hours, hours just getting high freestyling. Man, this shit was fire, bro. God bless the people that are passionate about their craft. Oh man. man. Because that's, that's the thing I'm tired of. Like, I think it's like, why, I'm not, why I don't check for all these, like, the little pumps and the fucking, all them dudes. Like, it doesn't feel like they, they, they obviously, they're, they're making a check good for them, whatever. Uh-huh. But that's, that's, like, that's I mean, their really only purpose. They don't give a shit about We, 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 we won't say his like, name on the podcast because Neil's we, I mean, we, no, we can we, say his name. I just, we're I just, talking I about the, we're talking about the troll down. 
We can't say his name. But he 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 had that song came out, and he goes pretty much like, I feel bad for like the Kendricks and like the J. Coles when mm-hmm. they have to try hard for lyrics. And I literally didn't try hard at all with the song. Like, well, and people still buy. It. I think the thing that bothers me the most, even more than that, is like if anyone wants, like I guess people could probably say that about me appropriating black culture. I'm a white guy that's successful with black music, and I'm doing this podcast that predominantly talks about black music. And but like. <laughs> He's perpetuating gang violence, and you know that he's not about that life. Like you can tell, he's just like this is all fake I mean, you shit. Know, the, 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 the the running, floating Steph Curry floater splash idea going on around right now is that he's just an industry player. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah like, absolutely. There's not much evidence. Absolutely to say that he's not. Right. You know. <laughs> so you know. There's there's nothing said, like lot saying otherwise to mm-hmm. me you especially know, with the shit shit with him and chief keith like <laughs> you know, you know, come on yep. here nigga, you know it's gonna be on site remember you know, uh, you know what i'm yeah. saying and when i see you then he's posting pictures and they in the early morning yeah and he's basically like all right come out here with some guns so i could you know attract, yeah. attract remember when you got uh, Keith, like we see you in the city with followed by a bunch of police officers right. like, you remember shit. he got kidnapped <laughs> and shit yeah, <laughs> I think that's bullshit. Too. I, I, think uh, I, I feel like I honestly feel like that was like a whole like that was him. marketing ploy type deal. Uh, I hate to. I I don't like the fucking u- words that young so people use, but like that's, that's cloud chasing to me. Oh, that's absolutely. exactly what cloud chasing. Five years gonna be all over hip hop, but then you have the Cardi B where you can reverse it. Cardi B is absolutely anonymous. Weird. I, I still don't get how Cardi B got Cardi there. Shout out to Cardi, Cardi B. B it's it's actually not bad. She, all right, so the, she's, the, she's, right she's different, though, to me. Because, all right, so she was, they did, it was a record label signing a social media star, for sure. Right. But she actually gives a fuck, I feel like. I feel like she's oh, she's trying passionate about her getting crap. better and, like, improving herself. Yeah, like, you can actually tell, and I, hats off to Cardi B, because you can actually tell she's passionate about her crap. She's got to stop her own shoes and shit. Plus, she's the captain of SS stripper rapper. <laughs> yeah, straight up, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. when she started to pop strippers all across America. She is, even she made, is the catalyst right, for stripper rap. Even she is the other catalyst. Like, yo, she was a stripper, now she's a rapper. Mm-hmm. I can do it too. Cardi B is the catalyst for stripper rap. Mm-hmm. Shout out. Yeah. Shout out. Okay. The mayor, the empress. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Oh shit! All right, what else we got? Oh what shit! I meant to ask you, bro. So, so Beats and Brews went to Denver last ooh. week. Oh, how, 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 how did you have fun over there? Yo, shout out to New Image Brewery uh, and Gavin. That was actually a really cool interview. So I got to Denver and uh, we went around like, a couple different breweries that just happened to be the one that wanted to, you know, sit down and talk. Uh, it was awesome. They actually they they just released their double IPA that day too. So what's the name of the uh, the brewery? New Image Brewery. New Image Brewery. Yeah, out in uh, Arvada, Colorado. I've got a handful of buddies that moved out to fucking It's like Denver maybe like 10 minutes outside of Denver after or, high school. Yeah. Shout out to John Maurer. He was out there. It's my boy. Yeah, shout out to uh, Joe Morton, actually. That's who I was staying with. That's kind of who showed me the brewery and everything like that. We tried to – oh, shit. So the owner of Coors died, actually, Saturday. Really? Yeah. On Saturday? Yeah, he was 102 years old. Shit, I didn't even see – wait, yeah. what was the guy's name? Joe – I think it's like Joe Coors, actually, or some shit like that. How I think that, that's his name. How did that make no fucking headlines? Like, I didn't see nothing I, about I just, We were looking it up because we were trying to schedule, like, a tour and everything like that. Mm-hmm. And because like, I wanted to go interview somebody, like, in PR. And we found out he died. And then we oh, tried wow. – yeah. So we tried to do the tour on Monday, like, the day I left. Mm-hmm. Or the day I was leaving. Uh, they were doing it, but they only closed – they closed it off to the tap room and then the gift shop. So I'm like, I don't want to see any of that shit. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I'm like, the course tap room is literally just course. So I'm like, whatever. So – we we didn't get to do the tour unfortunately, but yeah. Uh, shout out to you know the chorus family, like you know keep you in thoughts. I hate to say bless thoughts up, and prayers, up. but yeah, I hate to say that because I feel like that's not genuine to me. But you know, yeah. Well, I don't know yeah. thoughts and prayers. They're good. I think they're good for something that after like like they could die. It's like I fucking hate when it's always like oh there's another sh- mass shooting. Let's just not do anything. Let's just send our thoughts and prayers. Yeah, I, I just hate when people oh thoughts and prayers, thoughts and prayers. <laughs> Let's not change nothing. Let's just. Extend thoughts and prayers. That's or saving a lot. Let's say a prayer for <laughs> that don't sound genuine to me. I mean, I get it, but yeah, I'd rather say you know send good vibes. Yeah, yeah, I'd rather our, even say that. I'd rather say condol- that. My, my condolences. Yeah, my condolences. yeah, yeah. You see what I mean? Like yeah, it's like yeah. yeah. 
I know nothing right. about the, the Coors family. Right. Hopefully that's, they're good. I know, I know my dad loves <laughs> Coors. I'm not a fan of Coors beer. I'll go down record saying that. I've always roast my dad. Because my dad, like, he uh, – <laughs> so my, my dad actually tells me the story. Like, him and my grandpa, they used to – his my uncle, they used to go from – because, like, you couldn't get it in Michigan, apparently. Uh-huh. So they used to drive to Ohio to get it and smuggle it back pretty much across the border, like, some just, like, straight-up bootleg shit. So he, you know, holds corn on a pedestal. And I drink it, I'm looking like, dude, I'm just drinking it straight up, like, carbonated piss, I feel like. So, <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, you know, shout out to Coors, you know, sorry about, you know, the loss and everything like that. But you just going to shit on him after the man dies, that's hilarious. But anyway, I, 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 I don't care. You know the Coors people. But I don't know any Coors people. I, don't mind I hope Coors I'm not dead in the industry. Like, but. My buddy Kyle, Kyle Frater, shout out to Kyle, he loves, or used to, I don't know if he still drinks it, but he used to love Coors like. And I don't mind it if, like, you're going to, like, drink a bunch oh, of Oh, it's beer, a great you know? drinkable it's super beer. It's, super it's a great, like, beach beer, beer like, you're just chilling. But, like, you know, for, like, the craft side. Cause what I'm, do you have to think about, the, like, the yellow can, like, the original tour? The oh, original no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, those are good. I like the original can. Yeah. Let me rephrase that. I love the actual, like, it's like the champagne <laughs> of beers almost type, like, for <laughs> course. <laughs> I got you. But, yeah, the actual, like, can. I got you there. I used to have this real slick Coors white jacket back in the day. Little racing jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Thing. Was like silver with the mountains and the red on the top. It was fire. I never had like a racing jacket. I had like some pretty dope uh, full of starter jackets. So. I will say that Coors white was fire with the blue mountains though. Oh, oh dude. Yeah. Oh, the actual like the cold, cold thing. Yeah. Oh, I love that. That was actually dope. Blue. That Yo, was and, and the I never, people all over the world. <laughs> yeah, I would never <laughs> doubt that like, at all. Yeah, that, no, that, they're can of shit. That yeah, the can, shit. Yeah. and uh, and and racing. Yep, yep. NASCAR. I was oh gonna yeah. Say Remember uh, <laughs> when Brock Lesnar did that UFC fight? He goes, "Tonight I'm drinking a cooler full of cores, like of course, like because Bud Light ain't paying me nothing." <laughs> <laughs> It you know, Brock Lesnar to say that. That reminds me of fucking. You know, remember the old Chappelle show skit where he's talking about Coke and Pepsi? He's like, to be honest with you. I can't tell the fucking difference. Surprise, right. motherfuckers. He's, he's like, like Coke and Pepsi taste the same to me. He goes, but Pepsi tastes better because they paid me most recently. <laughs> <laughs> That's real. Hey, real shit, though. Yeah. Check. He's like, he goes, I'm just waiting for KFC to approach me. I fucking love chicken. Because <laughs> I do that shit for free, chicken. <laughs> oh, I did learn something about Coors while I was in Denver, though. Apparently, in grocery stores, they actually dumb down the ABV. How? So the same shit for goes for Heineken because Heineken does this too when they ship it over from Holland. You actually scan it with UV rays and shit, and it gets that light struck taste mm-hmm. to it, so it actually dumbs down the ABV. Weird. Yeah, that's bizarre, man. You know so much more about booze than I do. <laughs> <laughs> about good booze. So UV rays dumb down the ABV. Yeah, so it's called like light struck. It actually, if you expose, like, so for instance, if you like expose like this beer right here, if you yeah, open it, open that puppy up, light, that, shit, that, that shit gets diluted. Right. And the ABV goes down. It tastes like kind of flatter. Bring it on. So what they do is they scan it with a. Uh, you want to bring it up? Uh, you got the you got the bottle over there. Yes, sir. So if you actually put that like in a UV ray, it dilutes the ABV on it. So it's a ten right now. If you put a UV on it, it probably go down like an eight. So if I leave a brew sitting out in the in the sun, it's not going to be as cold as when well, I get back exactly. to it. Exactly. On this side. It's called light struck, especially in a bottle. That was white Russian mano with your daddy. Yes, <laughs> daddy boot pack. Yeah. You want to split this puppy with me? Yeah, I fuck with it. All right. What about uh that uh Be Careful, Be Safe that dropped, that dropped recently? You want to talk about Be Hell Careful, yeah. Be Safe? Hell yeah. I so I just showed my roommate Rob upstairs yesterday, man. I fucking – it's – it's nice, like I've said this a couple times in the podcast. Like we, him and I both got, like I'm sure you do too, because we're music people. Like we got a lot of musician friends. It's nice when someone drops an album that's your buddy that you don't have to like bullshit about. You're like, right, right, right. like yeah, that shit's fire, <laughs> but in your mind you're like, no, it's terrible. Mm. His shit is fucking actually fire. So that uh, that, that alleviated some stress. I didn't have to. I didn't have to lie to you. You had to bullshit. <laughs> I appreciate it. That was fire. Angry go high. Oh man! Everybody loves. So honestly, I put a whole status about that today. I did not expect people to like that song. And it's funny because that's <laughs> not my favorite song on the album. A lot of people. That love is my it, most viewed like, song on Apple Music. Detroit right with Avery North. Avery North. That's man. the one I'm talking <laughs> about. That's my favorite. <laughs> that one in Green Balloons, the intro track, is my favorite too on the album. And I love. Oh, I like the one with the band with the too. tattoo. Shout out to the "Be Careful, Be Safe" tattoo I got there too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Then the, uh, <laughs> the uh, I don't. We want to check it out. Even, Really? No. <laughs> hey, go high, yeah. Look out. What the? Go. Fire. 
White Russian Rhino was dope. Title track fire. Oh, be careful, be safe. You don't, don't even, you don't even notice. You don't even notice Yo. this nine minutes. <laughs> it's that dope. It's that dope. Shit was fire. Solid project. Shout out to uh, Honey Monsoon, Ian Griffith, uh, Anna, Taylor Greenshields, Dan Pansy, all those guys that helped me do that track. The title track. That's my favorite song on the whole album. So, what time are you dropping the video tomorrow? I mean, on Saturday. Shout out to Rami Haddad on that. I'm not sure. Okay. But <laughs> yeah, because I know we're doing a, I think the promo video comes out tomorrow and then we're doing a video on Saturday. Can't wait, bro. Sweet. It's for Holy Water, right? Yeah. So shout out, like a couple shout outs real quick. Uh, Bria is on that video. I've got her fucking last name to save my life, but she's in the video. Ron Askew, you, you know, my, my brother. Hey, Ron's in it? Ron's in the video. Yeah. Ron, Ron kills me in the video. <laughs> he kills me. <laughs> Ron kills me in the video. shit, bro. Hey, I mean, I'm all fucked up in the photos. I mean, you can already no, see. No, I saw that photo. Shout out to Rico. Uh, shout out to Ron, bro. Yeah. Let me just. Oh, Ron got married. Yeah. Yo, Ron is like the nicest human being of all time. He's like just the dopest dude ever. We watched the fucking fight the other Ron. day. I've, I've only hung out with him a handful of times, like with E Man and C Bone. Hey, buddy. But bro, he's a good person. <laughs> that was a good ass dude. He just got married a couple weeks ago. Yeah, actually, I was in his wedding. Got, so. right? Yeah, I fucking love Ron. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you were the best man, right? Uh, co-best man. Co-best he couldn't man? pick. He couldn't pick, so we had two. <laughs> <best men>. So, <laughs> the, uh, uh, shout out to Kim Torres who did the makeup and everything like that for the video. Uh, I think that's mostly everybody besides Rami. Yeah. So it was a dope time to drop a uh, a video where you get killed in it. Perfect <laughs> time. I like it right here. Oh. You know what I'm saying? So, like, <laughs> There's this dude, Katori Walker, that put out a video a while back. I don't know if you guys ever saw it. It was like, like the gist of the concept of the song was like, like Bloods and Crips, you know, and like, and black on black violence. And it starts with like him, like on the fucking ground, like blood, like uh, dripping out of his head, right? But he's right. rapping, like, and then like it kind of like rewinds the day. You okay. know, like, yeah, he's going, I'm, you know, I'm like, and you're like, damn, that I'm shit is fucking that. deep. Have oh, you ever seen a. Uh... Back in the day, you know, Ryan Sayers, POS video. Mm -hmm. ne uh, what's that? Never, uh, never better. No, I've never seen that. So the video is like him walking through like this, like uh, it's like it starts off in a tunnel type area or like a, like a sewer type, and then he just battles all these like people dressed up in costumes and shit, almost like demons and stuff. Mm -hmm. The metaphors that are fucking sweet, and then he just like gets like progressively bruised up and shit. Yeah, and you think he gets away and he doesn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that video. I love that. That's like one of my favorite videos of all time, actually. That, you ever check it out? POS never, uh, never better. Okay. Yeah. That's one of my. I love people that like know like, like what they want to do for their vision. Like not only like when they're making music, they're thinking about their visuals too. You know, like the Jordan Lucas. Like I bring him up again. Like oh, dude, we were at the concert. He was uh, he specifically said how like. So I actually write the video out in my head before I even mm -hmm. write songs and stuff like that. So I imagine like a story, like a movie or whatever. Then I write the song, or then, then we do the beat, then I write the song, and then we actually do the video from there based off of the visions I already had in my head for okay. how I want to go. Like, so I was fucking sick how he plans that out. Dude, the thing that got, that got me like hooked on Joyner Lucas, like there's this video, I think it's called Backwords. Or Backwoods, maybe? No, it'd be Backwords. I don't think Joyner is like in this movie. But, um... <laughs> I think it's called backwards. So basically he lays down, like it starts off with him and his boy on the basketball court and he goes, yeah, you're pretty tight and everything. You're pretty good at rapping and all that, but could you lay down a verse and then spit it backwards and have it mean something completely different? And he was like, yeah, I think I can do that. And he literally does like three verses where he spits it completely like one way yeah. and then uses the same words. He doesn't change that verse, but he spits them backwards and it makes sense. Oh, it's, like, like, uh, it's crazy. Kendrick did that with, with Damn. Like, if you play Damn backwards, it's a whole oh, yeah, different story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It even started – I did it. When you listen to it backwards at the very last track, because uh, you know how he's got, like, Kid Capri, like, yeah. like basically narrating the whole it's album. Kid he's like, Capri. we got to spin this shit backwards one yeah. time. And, and, like, that's how it goes. Yeah. I mean, at the end of uh, – what was the last one? What's the last track? Duckworth? Duckworth, oh, Like, yeah. the actual yeah. – on the Damn version, then, like, how it's, like, going backwards. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then, like, it actually flips it back. So if you actually started at Duckworth and in it uh, – what's before DNA? Blood, I think. Yeah, blood. Yeah, blood, so, blood, yeah. So. That so, yeah. The man, whole like thing like thing. that, or uh, one of my favorite moments in hip-hop history was Tech 9 rapping backwards. 
Backwards and what I, I don't know what you're talking about. So in actual sense, backwards, like oh, the like, words were fucking backwards. Kind of like a misdemeanor, like a, flip a thing down, flip it in reverse it. Yes, <laughs> you're flipping it the whole time, and it made fucking sense. That's the <laughs> one of the coolest things, things I've ever seen. Yeah, I think I believe I heard that. I believe I heard that. Well, y'all was talking about uh, dope ass music videos. Have y'all ever seen uh, Schoolboy Q's video for John Muir? No. no. Uh, I didn't know he did a video on Blank Face. Yeah. No, I didn't know that. I didn't know he did a video for that. I basically just got the, um, they got the video camera, um, like, where the fucking rearview mirror would be. Mm -hmm. Right. So you basically see, like, their whole day and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, somebody gets robbed, somebody dies, somebody does this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? All through the perspective of, like, basically like a dash cam. That's like a hood sick. nigga dash cat. Nah, 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 <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's fucking sick. You know what I'm saying? I didn't like, know that. A day in the life type shit. It's dope. I, I can't wait I to see one of my favorite. Yeah, he put his album on. Another people. Yeah, shout out. You want to talk about one of my favorite? Up over Mac, though. Bro, that whole. I actually I watched this video. I was about to go on a whole different topic here, but let's go back. Let's go into the Mac Miller thing a little bit. With Schoolboy Q. Mm -hmm. So I watched this video, and this was hilarious, by the way. I watched this video with Mac Miller and Schoolboy Q. They were in a park or something like that. Mac Miller was talking to some fans, and I guess Schoolboy Q was talking to some chick maybe like 30 yards away or so. Like You could see him like in frame, but mm -hmm. not really. Mac Miller was like, hey, you guys know who I am? Go, yeah, you're Mac Miller. And then he goes, he points at him. He goes, hey, you know who that is? Uh, no, 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 not really. He goes, well, I want you to go over to him and ask, are you Kendrick Lamar's body? Or at Kendrick Lamar's height range. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's that, funny as hell. That's my favorite collective in hip hop right now. I love the TD. way, like, not only like, yeah, TD. No, uh, not only are like they like the best. I think at at like making music. I love the way they roll out albums. Like they're all like seem like it's like it's, yeah. it doesn't seem like they're forced to be on a label together. It seems like they all genuinely love each other. Uh -huh. They like all a family. Like, promote the shit out of each other's fucking music. Another collective like that is like Jamla Rock too. We're Jamla probably. for sure. Jamla, Jamla's Knife like that Wonder, too. Bro, yeah, Knife Knife Wonder, Wonder, Rhapsody, all of yeah. All time. Red, oh, bro, hold on. She had high yeah. fucking five. Yeah. Yes. Hold on. We're gonna <laughs> say, to I fucking on. love so, Layla's wisdom. So, <laughs> so rap, Rhapsody. Maybe they be sleeping on Maybe Oh, on. Yeah. She got a Grammy not uh -huh. last year, bro. No, they be on she Rhapsody. got a Grammy not last year. And they be sleeping on no name. No, oh, no name is so far. I'm Room still five. Yeah, okay. I've been trying to get an opening spot for that shit in January. Word? Yeah, I'm actually talking to somebody down there now. Oh, all right, all right, boys, listen to this shit real quick. All right, rap. She's put this out today. Yeah, she really? Yeah. This is a little video on her. Let's talk about it. Let's really, really, really talk about it. I wrote some bars for all the bars that come with bars that overcharge the black and brown. They racially profile us as some criminals. Twist the lime and linens now. Talk about the thirst to make a profit off the medical profession. I'm professing how that ain't right. How you put a price tag on somebody like? How you gonna find a cure when banking off of people dying? That ain't science, common sense. Pay teachers more than sense. Teach for testing. That ain't it. Take it back to when the lessons taught us how to think. I went to the pros, the both of those I believe could fill the holes. Right the wrongs, make us whole. Make a better future for the kids because one day they'll be grown. I ain't lying, but I am a lion like the King LeBron. Make a promise, school them if they talk this honest. Address them like senior promise. Ain't no time for pause or commas. I'm talking to every loving, every woman. We claiming our time. We maxing every single vote to line. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> so hard. Uh, uh, stupid. Uh, yep. Shout out to Rhapsody. We love her. Bro. She's the type, she, all right, so for me, Rhapsody's the girl that brought rap out from, like, when you were like, this is my favorite female MC. Yeah. Or, I don't even say that with Rhapsody. I'm like, this is one of my favorite MCs. Yeah, yeah. overall, <laughs> one of my favorite MCs. So, you know. I, but the thing about, like, I'm not trying to put her in a box when I say that. It's just my favorite thing to say because. Yeah. I, I do what, too. What are my favorite things to say because if you look at who they think is the best female MC. I mean, look at, like, like we, we, we were just talking about, like, Cardi B, for instance, like. Cardi B, like, there's two different spectrums of it. Like, you know, as a, like a female MC, like you yeah, got like literally like one lane and you got another lane. Rhapsody is literally in her own home yeah. with that. Like, she could come, like, actually be like a better overall MC, not just a female MC. You know what? You know what it reminds me of? This kind of comparison I, just, I actually just thought of. Like, so it's kind of to me like how like you know like Lil Kim and them like like Biggie even told Lil Kim like. We want you, we want to hear you talking about your tits and your sex and yeah. all this and everything. Sex, because sex, sex like, sells. People like, but then people like Missy Elliott came around. and You're like, oh shit, we don't really give a fuck what she looks like because she's fucking but killing shit. Missy right. Elliott, that's kind of how this is. Really, now. Yeah. Like, Missy Elliott like, was talking about some shit. Though. 
That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But like Nicki Minaj yeah. and them are like that that like that little Kim ass vibe. Do you and know you got Rhapsody who's like, I got my body covered, but I'm spinning. I mean, if you now, really think about it, who who was uh Nicki Minaj's and Rick Ross's first manager? I have no idea. Diddy. Oh really? Rick Ross? Think, no, uh yeah, yeah. Rick they were really? his first manager. Think about it. Biggie, Little Kim, Rick Ross, Nicki Minaj. Mm -hmm. Think about that for a minute. It's kind of yeah. wild. Like yeah, Are you trying to bring this Rick Ross. Rick Ross was he was you know he was doing this whole slip and slide thing before he even popped. Mm -hmm. He was like Teflon Don before he was Rick Ross. They have like I don't think he's missed him and Wale both. What is we always talk about this like Wale getting so much unreasonable hate. Bro. Wow, he had that he hasn't missed he had that it. logic like feature that was dope. Yo, no, his last out and his his project that just came out was dope. Too. All these EPs he's been dropping are amazing. Wale is. He left. Uh, he left May that music, right? Mm -mm. No, nah, he didn't leave May. He's still made back, but he has a new deal with like fucking. I don't know what the company is. I think he's with Def Jam. Yeah, he, he, he. No, it's not Def nah. Jam, but he has a new deal where he's uh he's an artist and he's like has some type of like CEO, creative director state. He might be part of. Maybe he's like managed by Rockefeller now. Rock Nation. Rock he Nation. Was good. He was good. Rock I mean, Nation. there's so many people managed by Rock Nation. I'm fucking Jaden told Rock Nation. Is he? Yeah. But Shane Smith is fired. It's funny, man. actually, you brought him up. So, like, <laughs> me and E Man had a conversation the other day. Oh, like, about the Spanish rap? Oh, yes. Like, how, like, uh, so Drake has that song with Bunny on. I forget the name of it. Bad Bunny? Like, I don't know. Bad Bunny, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't really fuck with it. But then we just heard this. The one with Jaden Smith. Right? This song was way tough. You got that XSX Atancion song in Spanish. Was it, I don't even speak Spanish. LOL. It's, it's like Cardi B, half Spanish. Oh, no, I like it. From battle, from battle. <laughs> <like it. laughs> He's also it's, it's Warner Brothers. He's, he's with Warner uh, Brothers, but it's uh, he's an artist. He's like like some type of CEO and like some type of creative director. So he, oh, I sure. think okay. I think he's gonna run like a Warner Brothers slash every Blue Moon like his personal label type shit okay. kind of, or whatever. I don't know. We'll see though. Shout out to Wild. Oh uh, shit! They already updated my new music playlist, so I don't even know what it was called anymore. But there's this track that has Jaden. I think his name is Tail. Like it's an upside down. We question just listened mark. to it last night. We listened to it last night. It's an upside down question mark. You know, like like. Like what 4K would be like? Is it the video over there dancing in the street? That's I cool. haven't seen the video. I just like, you know how like, do you have Apple Music at all? No. Nope. So they'll give you like, like every like, based on the shit that you listen to the most. Like, like, Android gang. Android gang. <laughs> <Android. laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually don't I use Apple. Apple. I, I pay I'm, for Apple. I'm rocking title. title. I'm rocking title. Okay. <laughs> Title's better. Google Play in the house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There are, there's some trick or some song named like, I forget the name of the song, but it's by or Uno Dos is the name of the song by Teo. Okay. Featuring Jaden Smith. That's the name of it, I think. I think I got that right. Shout Spanish out, people, you're probably going to Because my fucking, my pronunciation is terrible. See, I put out a single, by the way. That's not so. That's tough. Yeah, right? Denver stuff in a mud hole. Oh, time. bro. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's a wrap on that. Freddie Gibbs yeah. dropped number, another thing, Shout out to Paxton. No, not Paxton, Paxton Lynch. I'm sorry. Uh, Y'all hear that pretty Gibbs? I believe he's laying down on the cover like he's an R&B singer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. Yeah, that shit's hot. Dude, I, I'm such a fucking giant Freddie Gibbs fan. Like, I think the best move he ever did is when he like got rid. Or when he was like, "All right, fuck this." Oh, he shit. left uh, uh, Jeezy. Like, I'm out of here. Like, y'all do not give a fuck about us. You yeah. don't give a fuck about our artists. I'm gonna go flourish on my own. And then he left and drops a fucking insane fucking joint album with Mad Lib making all the beats. Yep. Yeah, he got that, uh, it was so fucking sweet. He got that collab coming with Spit Off. Mm -hmm. Betty. Mm -hmm. They probably said it's Betty. know that. So okay. Gonna, yeah, Currency and fucking Freddie Gibbs. I forget, I don't think they have a name of the album out yet. It's Betty. Oh, it's, it's called Betty? Yeah, it's called Betty. Yep. Very like that. That's nice. They just I fucking love them, dude. Ty Dolla Sign just confirmed the collab album. Dolla Sign! Kanye. Kanye. So of course. I mean, he sings on all the Kanye shit okay. anyway. How can there be a confirmed... Uh, this doesn't make sense. Like, this is why you know Kanye is off his... Met. Like, this man needs help, bro. How are you confirming your own album? A seven-song fucking song with... With her, Chance. With, no, with Psy High. An album with Chance. A fucking album with this dude. Now, bro... Relax. Go to bed. Oh no, he don't sleep. sleep. Didn't he confirm Watch the Throne too as well? Yeah, with Donald Trump. You know, Kanye, you, know, Kanye, you know, Kanye pops up on Twitter like, um, <laughs> anybody try to reach me on my old number? That number is no longer. I threw my phone in the river because I need to focus on making these beats. 
You already know. You already know. Uh, he's like, you oh, like, oh, And then he'll do an interview the next day and fall asleep in an interview. Yeah. Like, I'm not even going to hold you up. And, you know, I might get, you know, shit, hella high water for this. But, all right. I was birthed into hip hop creatively in 2003. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So since then, and up, drop to, out. and up until now, I've had, you know, heavily influenced. You know what I'm saying? Jetty Kiss, Fab, Banks. You know what I'm saying? Button. Mm-hmm. But Kanye has always been there. Yeah, as for a, sure. As for a most musical, people. As yeah. a musical influence. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, while, you know what I'm saying, I don't agree with half the shit he said, some of them beats on Pussy T. I was, was retired. If you, you know, know you know. You know. Like, like, you know. Some, he, he roses on Zaga. Right. Some of them, oh, some of them lines that he actually no, wrote. Some of them lines he actually oh, wrote were decent. You know oh, his production. He did fuck with fucking you know, dope. Dope. a couple songs. No, you know, his production. I'm not questioning his production. It, 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 it is always there. Body, just bodies of work. His like, lyrics you know. have just been off for me, but his production is always there. Yeah, just, I mean, just bodies of work like from fucking college dropout to now. Even then with the Jay-Z shit. Uh, What was that? Ain't no love yeah, in the um, heart of the city. Yeah, yeah blueprint. I guess I got something even crazier that I can say about I can't. Okay, nice celebrity with right, so like, there was a, there was a time in high school like so I graduated in two thousand five. I'm a little bit old, but um, like two thousand and like two uh, two thousand one like like before I like got into G and all that shit. I wasn't. I I got to this phase where I wasn't listening to rap music anymore. I was tired of it. I was tired of like the same narrative that like, they were speaking like money cash all this type of shit. Uh huh. And I wanted something different. And Kanye was like part of the reason that brought me back to hip hop. Cause I, I bought yeah. fucking the college dropout. Yeah. That was the first rap album I bought in like a like long physical time. physical money? And yeah. then that brought me back, bro. And like this, this brings me into a couple different points that we wanted to talk about on this podcast. So that brought me back. And then Chappelle show brought me back to rap music. Okay. Because Chappelle was speaking yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. the and, 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 and most deaths yeah, and, and fucking commons yeah. and gays and like Eric all these like, dude, Eric Madu, yeah, the yeah, right after that like, he dropped that uh that block party. Yeah, man. All these people speaking Jill like uh, you're like, oh shit. So like I can relate back to the as a white dude in hip like as a white dude that loves hip hop. Sometimes you get lost with like some of like the street shit, you know what I mean? Because right, like, right. I'm not you can't cloth. relate to that. Yeah, yeah, I'm not cuffing that cloth, and it's not where I come from. I like a lot of that shit now because I I can appreciate shit for like something different than like a, someone else's story. You know what I mean? That's just a great right. story. But um, as far as that goes, like they're bringing these back to like people that are like talking about like important shit. Like most deaf black on both sides is like one of my favorite albums of all time now. Tell the quality's quality is one of my favorite albums of all time. I didn't get Shout back Black into Star. that. Yeah, Black Star. Black, Black Star. Star yeah. Um, what was the roots? Album? So yeah, like the uh, roots. Uh, things the, fall apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah things fall apart. Yeah, yeah. the one where like the chick is running outside. Yeah, like, I heard yeah. Black Thought Spaz for like ten minutes straight on uh, Flex. <laughs> Bro, that man is so seasoned. It's crazy. Like you can you can tell the good. Like he, he just. My raps. favorite was that BT cipher that he was like him, him Tyler, the most. almost F- yeah. Eminem. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely Eminem. That was that was a few years back now. I'm gonna give you the mic for a second. I'm gonna go. I haven't made it through one single podcast without taking a bash and <laughs> yo. So I, hey, I apologize. But I got weak bladder when we drink these crap beers. Shout out to all my little black fellas out there. Man. <laughs> little bladder. Hashtag, hashtag little bladder gang. <laughs> hashtag, you know full effect. All right, man. So let's talk a little bit more about the owl. Uh, the the owl, owl potency. Yeah. This should be crazy. Um. Fresh in a skillet in the frying pan, you know. It's one of them. Uh, it's one of them good saute, saute eggs, sunny side up in the morning with a little cayenne pepper, a little garlic powder. You know, okay, what I'm saying? just a little bit of seasoning. Yeah, good seasoning. A little, season, little, season, little season, Italian seasoning. <laughs> but it's dope though. We um, I feel as though like we um, we were able to uh, attack a few different angles. So we got like the, the, the boom bap. You know what I'm saying? Right. Classic hip hop shit. Yeah. Then we got like some more turned up, more like higher BPM, you know what I'm saying? Which is like kind of favorite now, you know what I'm saying? Um, then we got just like some some down to earth, uh, you know what I'm saying? Talking about um, social injustices and shit and like, you know what I'm saying? Stuff that's going on. We got like some skits and like some intros, outros in there with like a little bit of comedic relief, you know what I'm saying? Nice. gave you like, it's a six song EP too, right? Um, man, I'm out here slipping. <laughs> I think we got we think we got like eight on there. Yeah. We might have like eight on here. Make sure. Thought I checked it beforehand, but I could be wrong. I want to say it's eight. 
High breeze with a chance of potency, right? Yep. Yeah, I think it's eight. It's not eight, it's probably seven. Yeah, she says six. Six out the dough. Yeah, I mean, what's this an EP? You know, uh, ain't nothing wrong probably, with it, man. We're probably gonna fire. go ahead and uh, go ahead and drop an album afterwards. But yeah, it's it's six solid ones on there, and um, you know, like I said, it's just a it's a good salad. You know what I'm saying? It's just well bodied. They got a lot of different, you know, working parts into it. Right. And we just uh, we balance each other out real well. We we bounce off of each other, and um, we, we mesh well. You know, kind of that uh, Styles and Jada. You know what I'm saying? Right, shout out to High Potency because we're trying to get him on the podcast exactly. here for a minute too. We're so trying yeah. to come back here and, and just do a straight, a straight joint. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, <clears throat> directed one, you know. But uh, big shout out to High Pole, man. Oh yeah, legend. That man. whole keep it G like collective. Oh man, like, so Dilo, many, so many English, uh, fuck Two Face, Tone, um, yeah. Tone, yeah. Arius, Arius, um, yeah. Uh, that oh, shit. Hold up. Quick shout out to Arius and Dialogue. They got that project coming out next week, right? Yeah. Or this week. Is it this week or next week? I think it's coming the out Light and Water. Soon. Light and Water. Yeah. Yeah, they just dropped a single Horizon. Yep. Yeah, shout out to them real quick. Yeah. Actually, working, got the man. Keep a G sticker on my laptop. Keep I can't G. really can't really show you guys because it's hooked to my Keep laptop right now. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big shots, man. I got some beats from Dilo. We finna fuck y'all up. Same. Had, like, Dilo did four beats on my project. So. Yeah, I heard the first one. As soon as they heard they keep it G on the first one, as soon as it just launched right off. All right, man. All right. Man, I feel like Detroit hip hop, like, even though it's like we got some of the biggest artists in the game, I feel like it's on the bubble of like just blowing up. Like, yeah. Every, there's so many talented motherfuckers in the yeah. city. That is just, I, I cannot wait for like people. I, you know what's tight is I can't wait for like Royce to like really flourish with that yeah, heaven's dude. Yeah. Man, like, like he's got like, uh, like obviously his brother Kid Vicious. Shout out to Ashley Sorrell. Fucking Ashley Sorrell. Who actually, she loves our podcast apparently. So, that, well, she listened to, like, she listened to our podcast. Well, I, I, not loves it, but no, listened no, to our podcast. She, loves, she, she okay. listened to our podcast. Yeah, she hey, she the, loves it, man. I told she her that, listened that's to our podcast. Okay, she loves our podcast. She to it every morning. Let me, let me. Our podcast. Our podcast certainly loves her, though. Yeah, we we yeah we would love to have you. If you know if you're listening to this or will listen to this, but yeah. No, yeah, eventually we'd love to have her on there. Shout fun. out, man. Shout out Royce, man. He's fucking Woo. one of the godfathers, man. Just be fucking beating beats, sinless, sinless, it. man. It's UFC great. see tap off style. Actually, to bring it back to what, to, 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 to bring it back to Nick Grant from earlier, Nick, Nick Grant uh, posted on Twitter today. He's like, Nick Grant lyrics wouldn't mean shit if it wasn't for Royce the Five Nines bar exam series. And I was like, ah, oh, damn. I'm fucking with Bargain. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. feel a Bargain. The greatest is on Bargain four. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yep. You know what? You're right. That's actually I did hear about him because yeah, of that. Thank you. Right. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, he's so crazy. Hard. He'd be abusing. The, he'd be abusing the book. He got. He'd be going in there on sway, going crazy. Oh, but no, like that was like Booker Ryan was legit one of my favorite albums. And shit. Oh yeah, it was in, hard. in general. Like I was protecting Ryan. Yeah, yeah that uh, shit's hard. So that's still like. So there's so many. Like, in 2018, every Friday you get like this kind of something. It's that been about. crazy. It's like, like a show like, releases. It's, it's all right. So it's there's like crazy. good things and bad things about it. It's you been like, so hard to keep things releases. about it is like it gives a platform to everyone. Like as a musician, you get your music out there so easily these days. Yeah. But like the negative thing about it is there's so many people making music. I, like I can't even make a. Like, you you literally like all right. So music drops on Fridays for the masses mostly, unless you mm-hmm. change your day. You should drop on Tuesday. Used to be Tuesday. Used to be Tuesday yeah. Definitely used to be Tuesdays. Now it's Fridays. I guess so, like the, I think like the sound scan shit changed or something like okay. that. So that's probably why. Nielsen. But that's Nielsen, the thing. Yeah. Like if so, all right. So you drop on Friday, like unless you're like a head or someone that's actually paying attention and listening deeply, your album has a shelf life of a fucking week. It's hard. It's hard. Now, to one even, week till the next. Like low key, it's even hard to name like out. fucking top ten local projects for me. But like well alone like the mass heat. People, like, oh, yeah. that's the only thing that bothers me about streaming because, like, back in the day, because I'm from the CD era and the fucking cassette era and, like, buying them shits and, like, you bought that album with your hard-earned money, so you're you're living with this shit for months, you know what I mean? Like, right. I bought that fucking quality album by Talib Kweli, so that's going in my CD player in my car, and I'm listening to that until I can't so fucking the, listen to so it So that's the thing, right? So, one, you can't fall into the trap. Mm-hmm. You can't fall into the trap, which means that can't just rush some rush a project out there just to have one out there, mm-hmm. right? and you can't throw fucking doo doo on it 
just because doo doo is popping right now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I just because like, you polish some shit does it's still a turd, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I feel like I feel like if you drop if you drop timeless music, then regardless of if it's you know saying 52 mass releases every year, mm-hmm. you will be good because just to go back to call the 2014 shit, it's still slack. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that shit is still fucking that. And I guess that's true with the artists that matter to me. Like, I'm still listening to Pimp Butterfly. That was 2016. I'm still listening to Damn, like, on repeat. Look, kid. Like, actually, you know what? I posted posted a clip of the song Feel from Kendrick's last album, Mm -hmm. Damn. When I first heard that album, I was in, like, a bad place. You know, I was in kind of a depressive place. I had my girl just broken up with me, and, like, I was, like, I was just bummed out. And that song, like, you know what I mean? Like you hear a song that like almost every lyric like fits how you're fucking feeling, right. and you're like, right. God, like damn. You. I feel so fucking connected to this right. record. That and works. I remember like rewinding that. I, I just played that song back like five or six times before I even like let the rest of the album play. So I was like, God damn, I want to take in like every bar of this because like this is exactly how I'm fucking feeling right now. Yeah, I right. connected real deeply with some of like Big Sean's bars on uh on his first joint. Mm-hmm. Um, what's that shit called? I can't even think of what it's called. Big Sean has always been. I, I love Big Sean to death. The first, the first uh, album, though. The one with, uh... What is his first album called? Well, well, I, Finally, I, Famous. Finally Famous. Finally Famous. Finally Famous. Finally Famous. Finally Famous. Yeah. So it's some joints on there, like the Memories joint with John Legend. Yeah. Yep, yep. Are like, even one of the joints. Well, the joint with Pharrell. Oh, shit. Uh, Shout out to the E.O. John Legend. I thought about it and grabbed it. My life is a fucking movie. The bad mm-hmm. bitches get casted. I'm in the race for myself. Yes, bro. I was just casted. listening to uh, Finally Famous 3 actually uh-huh. a couple days ago. The tape. Catch me run into the money. money. To my feet, lose a feel of that. And then what was the one? It was like, I'm in the hoes. That's in the hoes. Uh-huh. Now I'm in two hoes. Yeah. Real shit, boy. boy. Yeah. <laughs> my Sean is like, I've, I, he's so, I love Big Sean. He just, Really inconsistent to me at certain, well, at certain then, times. Like, to big him up a little bit, like I think what's crazy to me about Big Sean is the first time I saw him perform live was uh, an opening set in Pontiac for Wiz Khalifa. He right. opened for Wiz, and right. it's like now one? he's like more of a, like was that the dudes that everyone high or, like puts in high regard. Yeah. Like, I, I think the first time I heard, like heard of Big Sean, he was going to him and before he before this guy was big, G Easy was actually his opener. Okay. <laughs> this was like maybe like four or five years ago at Oakland University or something. Wow. Oh yeah. yeah. Jesus he probably went up at Oakland University. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's pretty he probably, fucking well respected in Oakland. He probably turned the fuck up. No, it's probably at Oakland out here. Oh, yeah, he's talking about here. Here, here, here. <laughs> here, <laughs> Oakland. Like the Grizzlies. Like it's, the Grizzlies. It's, it's, so, it's so funny that you say that because you were talking about the Detroit sign. The, the, the Detroit was, sign, they're on the bubble, they're on the cup. Yeah. I feel like motherfucking uh, the Detroit sign and that Bay Area sign. They're like, they are, yeah, they're, they're really, really similar. Mm-hmm. They're really they are. Similar they really are. are. Um, they really, really are. E forty, like a bathroom to the bay. Because like, <laughs> that's a that's a fucking great comparison. You could almost put E forty and fucking Tigers on the same fucking track, bro. Right. It sounds like the same. I would say Trick Trick in E forty. Trick Trick too, like it's this, a lot of them. This is song on Trick Trick in E forty. We know actually. This song on two K nineteen soundtrack. It's a Bay Area song, but it got the. Like you know, mm-hmm. saying it's like it's a Detroit song. Yeah, you can you can barely you can barely tell the difference. It's like a couple of different drums that really just you know what I'm saying separate mm-hmm. the two. Mm-hmm. But them songs they they, they they real close, man. The Bay and the City songs. Jonah Hill was, was talking, talking about, about that uh, shit. Right, so I watched. Uh, did I talk about? I, I didn't bring that up yet on this podcast. Um, so I watched like Rob or like, shout out to Rob Markman and like Rap Genius and all that shit. So like, he had Jonah Hill on there. Okay. Uh, to interview him about his, like, he's got this movie coming out called Mid Nineties, where it's all about like hip hop and skateboarding culture. Okay. In like the mid nineties, obviously, and uh, he like scored the music and did all the shit, and it's got like a bunch of like Bay Area rap shit on there, like Della Funky Homo Sapien as a cameo in the, yeah. in the movie, but yeah. it like, talks about like Far Side and fucking Souls of Mischief and Hyro and like yeah. all the yeah. Bay Area. Yeah. Meg Dre. Yeah. You know, uh-huh. Jonah Hill directed that uh that Danny Brown video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Brown's probably my favorite Detroit rapper oh, right now. Right. Period. I, like, I, I, I just love like I can't. I, he is so distinct, and that's why I like it. Like, I can't. You can tell like when you hear his voice, you know that's fucking Danny Brown. Bro, I got a text message. I got a text message today about Danny Brown. Really? I cannot confirm this, but we're allegedly his new album is coming out. 
I, I have a friend that's friends with Don't me. Don't fucking play with me right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a minute since atrocity exhibit, exhibition. But yeah. I, I, have a friend who's, I have a friend who's friends with Danny, and there's there's word on the street that there's new music coming from Danny okay. real soon. Shout out to the real He soon. has been releasing music on Twitch. Oh, yeah. He released yeah, an EP on Twitch or some shit like that. It released like <laughs> three or four songs <laughs> on Twitch. How do you do that? No, you so crazy. Twitch is He's like, like, like shit. I might move our streaming over to Twitch. You might start streaming on there for sure. Yeah, because I mean, people are looking. Twitch in. Yeah, no, it's not for video games. It's not for video games anymore. Oh, wow. I mean, you can use it. I mean, people, the base is video games, but people are using it for music and shit now. Word. Like T-Pain and Yachty are you release, you release the music on their shit. Oh, I'm finna try. Oh, <laughs> look out for that new EP. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wrap. And I'm gonna be on the Xbox, you know what Shout man. out to fucking Ninja oh, for making that shit, man. I'm gonna be on the SF playing the 2K while I'm dropping the new shit. Right. Yep. I love you, boy. Make sure you get my gamer tag. It's oh. weird, man. Twitch is weird, dude. Like, the video game culture is crazy, too. One thing I want to talk about, too, like, oh, man. what would you say be, like, some of your favorite music videos this year? This year? I think the one that we've talked about the most would be um, Clout Cobain. I was just, I'm glad you said that, because I was going to, I was, I'm, I can say the whole Dizzo Curry thing, because I don't want to talk about Dizzo Curry. Um, uh, all right. Uh, I don't this is America this. is probably one of my this favorite. This is America. I'll put that up there, too. Actually, two Childish Game video videos because the um, that feels like, like summer, America. bro. Yeah. And, like everyone, like if he is that like this is America. This yeah, one feels was like really, this one was super, super, duper, duper, duper yep. fucking basic. But I really like Potato Sap. Oh, dude, I can't wait for that Wing Sap album to come out. Okay, you yeah, know, because yeah, they're doing yeah. a collab project. Yeah, I didn't know yeah. they had a video. Oh, oh yeah, no, yeah, I yeah, posted a clip yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Potato yeah, I like how the yeah, I can't wait for Wing Sap. Shout out to Tyler I like how Jada was just in the car, like I'm bothered, like yeah, I'm here, but so what. You know, yeah, on the really video cool. too, I kind of like the way that um, the balance of Tyler the Creator and ASAP yeah, is ASAP because like ASAP's real smooth and cool. As My favorite is the like, very like yeah, first Tyler ten seconds of that shit. video. When Tyler goes, "That makes me horny." He goes, "ASAP, like don't say that." Don't, don't say that. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't say don't say things like that. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm, just to bring it back to that interview I watched with Jonah Hill, by the way, he he was talking about so like he made sure he wanted to represent like the hip hop community in the right way. So the first two people he screened the movie for was Q Tip from Tribe okay. and fucking Frank Ocean. <laughs> He's so, like, I want the notes from you guys. Right. You tell me like tell me if any of this like looks or seems disingenuous right, yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah, yeah. that shit, you know, like and let oh, me know it was like and, and he's like and he, and he goes, the fucked up part about it with me is he's like, I'm friend like saying it out loud fucks me up. He's like, I'm friends with Q Tip. I've been friends with Q Tip for like the last seven years and like He's like, I'm not just trying to name drop. He's like, I'm legitimately like really close friends with Q-Tip. <laughs> Tribe Called Quest. And that's my fucking Beatles. Like, that's the Beatles to me is a Tribe Called Quest. Like, yeah. it's so fucking surreal. And he's like, and then the fucking show my movie that I worked so hard on to right. Q-Tip and him not even like, not only love it, but like tell me that he cannot wait for the rest of the fucking culture to see it. That's hard. The movie? Fucking crazy. Yeah. Talk about uh, Q-Tip. Like, this was his exact quote. He said, Q-Tip told him, he's like, Listen, don't let any of these motherfuckers tell you differently. You're a white man, but you're part of this fucking culture. You're pushing this culture. You're doing shit for us that other people are too. He's like, just because you're white doesn't mean you're not part of our culture. Right. Like, how can I'm like, damn, that's fucking Alchemist hard. is a legend. Still Static Selector. Yeah, Static Selector. Yeah, Matt see, Miller, rest in peace. I want to see, uh, I wanna see uh, John O'Glover do some shit, man. I, I was like watching like, his little mini Oh, movies. man, I love Mac. I love Mac. Uh, Speaking John of him, bro. But yeah. I just call like all right, so I'm not 100 percent about this. I think it is actually. I could probably play it for you guys. All right, so there's a song on Reason from TDE's new album called um, what the fuck is the name of it? Let's pull it up. I do want to clarify one thing I said earlier about Big Sean. Oh, it's upstairs to the, around the corner. Here. All right. I do want to clarify one thing. Rob, guys, will tell you. When I was talking about Big Sean, kind of inconsistent. Mm -hmm. I do want to clarify that. Yeah, clear so, that shit up. So. For instance, Detroit Mixtape, fucking amazing. Then he put out, uh, what was that, Hall of Fame? I'm not a fan. I'm not going to lie to you. He had that one track with Nicki Minaj. It was like, man, I'm a mama. Man, I'm a mama. It, it just I'm not going like, to wait to like I don't like a lot of shit. I, I think the fucking Hydra Boomin album sucks. Like, it's just really good. Then uh, Final Fantasy album was okay. Dark Sky Paradise was fucking amazing, by the way. I fucking love that. I love that project. That's probably still one of my favorite Big Shot projects, period. One of my favorite projects overall, actually. And then uh, I, I didn't. I wasn't really that big of a fan of I Decided. 
Yeah, I'll put you. Yeah, man. Like, there's a couple. I, there's I, a couple I, tracks on it, but like sometimes overall, I feel like, it's like it's okay. I'm like I'm but, up in the air with Big Sean. Like sometimes I feel like he's the best rapper in the world, and sometimes I feel like he's he terrible. just I, he just doesn't have the consistency for me, and that's, that's, that's what like, bugs me. About. But then you know it's fucked up though. Cause Cause I, I, I like Big Sean. You know I want to. I want to like Big Sean. He definitely had the best verse on Detroit Birds. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. I'm glad you said that. I fucking love Gabby Brown. I love Royce. I love him. I'll put fucking Big Sean over that. Be honest with you. So like he's capable. I don't know if he's capable. I know, I know he's capable. I know he's capable of putting out this consistent shit. I just want him to do it. All right, bro. You got. Uh, I, I need your opinion yeah. on something. And we're going to play it on the podcast, too. So Because we don't really give a fuck. We're, we're fucking local people. If you want to pull our shit, you're going to pull our shit. If not, we're going to put it on. So there's, an in, all right, so there's a song called Situations on Reasons album. Okay. Um, That's a dude from Top Dog, right? Yep. Okay. And it has a, an Usher sample, but... It doesn't say it on here, but I swear to Christ, it's definitely Childish Gambino singing the Usher sample. So you let me know what you think. <laughs> yeah, listen to this. Listen, listen to the guy. You don't have to talk. Oh, so it's Childish Gambino singing. Right here. That does sound like Gambino. Is that head to future, maybe? One hundred percent Gambino. I think that's uh, I think that's a sample of Gambino's. Uh, Nobody's covering Usher. It's an Usher song. You don't have to call. It's okay, girl. But he did. He did that on uh, on, on the Stone Mountain Kawhi mix. Oh, did he? Oh yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, you're right, you're right. right. Yeah, um, that fucking joint he ever he covered that to me at track. Yeah, so <laughs> you know, that, was, uh, that was when he first started like singing, singing. You're like, oh shit, damn, you know, can rap, sing, do stand up comedy. Right, direct, mother, direct, his mother direct, mother too. right for 3030, 30, 30 Rock, I mean. <laughs> yeah. 30 Rock, yeah. fucking Community, oh, Mystery yeah. Team, when I fucking Star Wars. Rock, I was only 25. <laughs> 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 Going through fucking, fucking like, Lando Calrissian. <laughs> yeah, dog. Shout out to Gambino. Oh, and he's Simba. Yeah, and he's I'm, Simba. I'm, I'm hurt that he only going to drop one more album. Mm-hmm. But, it might be one more album as Childish Gambino. He might do other shit. shit. Yeah. I know, like Logic. Logic said he, he was going to do one more album, and then it was just what he meant was he just dropping the Young Sinatra thing. He was done with that. Oh, he, okay, I got you. Like, you don't have to come. Same way Jay Cole's doing his uh, Jay Cole. Kill Edward. Kill Edward. Shit. <laughs> yeah. I got you. I kill Edward. That's funny that he like, finally actually was like, yeah. It's, like, uh, I'm like, obviously. Right. Obviously, <laughs> he's like, that's you. But no, he said that. He said that. Like, you don't do no damn features. <laughs> yeah, fuck Kill Edward. Yeah, Kill Edward's on the bill for the fucking show. <laughs> That's hilarious. Jay Cole, Kill Edward. <laughs> Jaden Smith. <laughs> I wonder if he gets double the royalties. <laughs> no, it'll be, uh, if he does, I need to pull that move. I want to pull that move, too. And start selling some three hats. <laughs> so I can make six bills. All right, so this is something I wanted to bring up. Okay. Um... Him and I were just on another person's podcast. So welcome welcome my my nuts. Shout out to Welcome My Nuts. That interview, <laughs> they do the interview about Be Careful, Be Safe. So shout out to them for doing that. And we were Fucking talking about like, Torrance. we were talking about yeah. sexy music. Okay. And, and the dude, uh, what are the hosts, you know the host, host name? Torrance. 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 He was like, I don't know what you're talking about yeah. by sexy music. I'm like, what do you mean? You, you never heard some a song that you were like, that was Oh, no, he, sexy? a sexy voice. That's what it was. Yeah. He was like, sexy I, I, voice. like what is a sexy, sexy voice? voice? Like, what do you, mean? you never heard a sexy like, voice? Like, I will say something, you know, like seductive. And, yeah. You know, and, stuff and, like that. and, and uh, like, well, what we were talking about was Madison McFerrin. Yeah. She has this song. All right, so this is, this is like the definition of a sexy voice. Like, a song called Insane. Like, <laughs> he's like. I don't understand. Like, in Sabrina Claudio, I think I'd put in the same like category. Like, uh, like somebody like, I've been chicks that are like seducing. Somebody I've been up, music. Somebody I've been obsessed with for like, like a, a month. Was, was a, straight up. Somebody I've been obsessed with for a month. Jesse Reyes. I love her. Yep. Like, I yep. love, yep. I love her voice. Throw yeah. LMA in that in that category. LMA, yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. How was that album, by the way? I know she just fire. put that out. I haven't listened to it yet. Fire. It's fire. It's fire. She got like the perfect features, just like John Legend, Chris Brown, Ty Dallas. I know they had that what you call it, Chris Brown. I heard yeah, that. Yeah, it's just dope. I just she I the understand. one who made boot up, right? Yep. Okay. All right. So Madison McFerrin 
is Bobby McFerrin's daughter. She's oh, really? Bobby Holy shit. Don't, don't worry. worry. Be, be happy. happy. <laughs> That's fucking cool. Yeah, but like, I don't want to like limit her to that. Here at Post Show Six, good. we'll leave a light on. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Yo, I don't want to limit her to that though, because her and her brother Taylor are both like super different, special artists. Like, she is doesn't sound anything like her dad. She's super talented. Her brother Taylor uh, is actually like, um, he's like he's on the uh, that shit with that Robert Glasper and Terrence Martin put out last oh, year. Like, R yeah, plus yeah, R yeah. equals now. Yeah, Terrence Martin. Yeah, yeah, yep, okay. yep. the drummer. Yep. yep. Uh, no, he's no, Ter Terrence Martin. Is, well, he's like a producer. From Compton, really. right? Yep, yep. Yeah, he's, okay. he's from Watt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Watts. Yep. Yep. Sorry about that. By the way, shout out Motel Sixes and McDonald's, man. The EP that I dropped. Go get that. It's on the SoundCloud. It's not Ooh. on Google Play. It's hidden. You can get it on Audio Max or you can get it on SoundCloud, but that's only where it's at for right now. All right, so I'm gonna let you hold this. I'm gonna play this. Yes, Oh, I take a second bath and break, and you, you tell me, <laughs> you tell me this isn't a sexy ass song. This girl can fucking sing. If you want to pause it, you can. Not rocking, you're not rocking with DJ and fat bitches on the butt naked sexy hour. <laughs> <laughs> That's MC sit on my face. <laughs> And my sidekick and spin. That shit is fucking yeah. Every time I hear Rihanna <laughs> speak, you, you, have, you, have, you have now tuned in to the Sweat Hotel. <laughs> Yo, King, King Sweat. All right, my, my ex girlfriend Kayla was obsessed with that Yo, shit. The yeah. amount she, of, she was listening to that song. The amount that of fucking, motherfuckers' moms who call in about the Keith Sweat. That's what I Because he's know. more accessible now Bro. than he was in the nineties when he was a megastar. Bro, it's fucking ridiculous. Bro, my ex Kayla, like. White as can be. Bro. So many of our the generation, of all time, like love. So Jesus. much of our generation was like, <laughs> conceived on that shit. Like, it was like so much of our generation. <laughs> and who <laughs> you like me? Oh man, I didn't want to know what I was conceived. <laughs> oh, I, was conceived. <laughs> wanna... I was probably conceived to like Earth Wind. I can see. My... I was probably the fucking OJ. I can see that. I guess. For... <laughs> It was OJ or Asane, one of the two. I can see that. This is probably definitely my parents' first concert together was Earth, Moon, and Fire, so it's probably some shit like that. Or Sly and Family Stone. My mom loves Sly and Family Stone. Well, I was born in 89. My parents were probably fucking the guy or some shit. <laughs> some fucking swings. Some type of fucking Oh, uh, bro, you want to hear some awkward shit? Just, like, so we'll shout out to one of our friends. So this was, uh, this was with the shit like a couple months ago. Okay. And I, I put on like a playlist or whatever. And shout out to Matt Sider, Adventures with Vultures. He popped up on the playlist. 
Like, no, what? Shit, I don't That's so fucking. Uh, yeah, uh, he's actually from Plymouth. Oh, nice. Yeah, he signed with uh, original 1265 and everything like that. So I literally stopped mid. Like, they were like, is this fucking Sider? She goes, who the fuck cares? I'm like, oh, like, that's my boy. Shut up. I'm like, right. Yo, what's, that, <laughs> what's that one cat that went to the park that's like famous as fuck now? Like, Bozzy or something? Oh, Bozzy. Yeah, shout out to Bozzy. He's, like, he's like four years younger than us. He's on Atlantic. Yeah, he's like, uh, so he's, so really? he's four years younger yeah, than you? Yeah. Thank you. Time, time. Yeah, time. Bozzy. Yeah, he went to high school. Bozzy, fucking his brother. Spot I worked at, his brother was a server there, mm-hmm. and it was like four. I worked with him for like four months before he moved to LA to go live with his brother. That's crazy. That's crazy as hell. I told him to plug me when he get out there, man. He makes beats and shit, so tell him to plug me when I when he gets out there. Let's see that. I used to see him every once. Every once in a while, once in a while we get one that pops off, like Mike Posner popped off from uh, the Rajiv. Rajiv area. Rajiv, who? Rajiv Dow. He's our. He's my age actually. Shout out Mike Posner, man. You think you're cooler yeah. than me, dog? Yo, Mike Posner. All right, so. Peter Rosenberg has the show. <laughs> no, 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 no. I will, I will, I will defend Mike Poser to the end of the fucking earth. After We're not talking shit. We're not talking about that at night alone album. I fuck. No, oh, man, fuck that's one of my Poser. favorite albums of all time. Yeah, I fuck with Mike Poser. Have you heard that album yet? At night alone. No, no, I heard the more recent shit. I heard. I, I was fucking with the older shit when he was fucking Bro, with Big Sean a lot. Check that album out, honestly. Like, because Mike Poser, he really stepped away from the poppy stuff. He does the more like emotional, like music right. type. Dude, I fucking love it. Like, uh, uh, he can Poser, sing. He can rap. It's like legit one of my favorite albums. Period. Mike Poser, Asher Roth, Mad Mills, man, and my guy. Oh man, Asher Asher Roth put out a song. We were just talking about Asher Roth a couple weeks ago. Then the day after that, he put out a song. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Mommy Dog. Mommy Dog's it's doing well too. It's actually on like the fucking Apple Music playlist. The last shit I heard from Asher was the um the shit where he had uh, Metro Hash. Yeah, yeah. Wait, dude. Wait, Metro Hash was so funny. And he had Tangerine. On yep. there. Tangerine. I think you know what's fucked up. Like, all right, so Asher can rap his fucking ass. Asher's all right, fucking so i all like so. I guess I'm gonna reverse something that I usually go with. I'm usually really hard on white boy rappers because I'm a white boy okay. in this shit. As you should be. But I love Asher Roth. And I feel like he got rolled off way too quick. And I feel like he was, I think he's more talented than a lot of it's fucking the, artists. Everybody has, like, I mean, we all have like that. In hip hop, they have like a token white boy slot. I feel like mm-hmm. the one like prime, like Asher Roth fell off and then suddenly Mac Miller fucking rose mm-hmm. to fame. Mm-hmm. But like, I think, right after that. But yeah. I think why Mac Miller was such a fucking impact on people was because he. He understood the fact that he was white and black music, and he did a great job of championing and black paying artists culture and, and bringing like them that. coming up. He brought, the, SZA paying, uh, he brought SZA up. He brought Schoolboy up. He brought Anderson yeah, he Pac paid up. Homage. He brought fucking Earl up. He paid yeah, homage child, like a motherfucker. Yeah. Yo, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Staples. You don't, you, Staples. You, yeah. you got to be hard on uh, white boy rappers. Just like it's like me uh, with a black quarterback or like a black cowboy. <laughs> Straight like, up, like, like Darius Rucker. Like, don't you be coming in here, man? <laughs> coming here. Causing the muck, embarrassing us. <laughs> can't take you nowhere. Exactly. You That's what you it is. You know, it's an embarrassment. That's exactly, dude. Breeze, you just put a. That that yeah. might be where it is. That I didn't that realize be, where it came it. from. It's like I don't want to be embarrassed out here. Right. Like, yeah. Yeah. Right. That's a good point. Be out here, little pumping us. Yeah, don't fucking be little pumping us and little fucking Diego right. and us or fucking what is his name? Little, little fucking Zan. Little, oh god! Yeah, even though little puppets, you know. You know, I just realized all three of them are all three of them are Hispanic. I just realized that. Right? How do you guys <laughs> feel about? How do you guys feel about speaking of watch? Because being a white dude in black culture, I don't ever use the N word. How do you feel about like Mexican people using the N word? I think it's more tolerable. It, it's, it's I can accept that more to be honest with you. Even though there's a lot of white Mexican people, right? You know that, right? Like Zan, like Louis, instance, Louis like, C.K. is Mexican. Yeah, Louis C.K. is technically Mexican. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Louis C.K. is technically yeah. Mexican. <laughs> he really is. He, he is from Zan, Mexico. Bro. He's from that? Mexico. Yeah, His dad is like 100 percent Mexican. Like that's the Louis C.K. <laughs> Tom Segura, the comedian Tom Segura, is dead. Uh, Theo Vaughn, his dad I is a that's Nicaraguan. Just, that's just probably just a pigment thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, Lucy K is a pigment thing. It's just like that. It's like Puerto Ricans that look like they're fucking black. You know what I'm saying? And Dominicans. You know best fun fact. Best Lucy K fun fact, you know, my Me Too shit was, uh, I didn't know he directed Puyo Tank. Fuck yeah, he did. And, and wrote it. And wrote and directed Oh, he wrote and directed that shit. <laughs> All right, so. Obviously, we're, we're, we're definitely, we're, we're definitely I sensitive to the Me Too movie. that bullshit, <laughs> All right. Yo, all right, so that's that's what I was gonna bring up. Dude, you don't need that, bro. I bought that at 
<laughs> so when he like so all right so like years ago comedy central had like comedy awards okay. it only lasted for a couple years like they were mm-hmm. actually giving out awards on tv okay but louis ck won for like best comedy series it was for his show that was coming out and he went on stage and he goes the only person i want to thank is chris rock for teaching me how to be funny and then walked off stage <laughs> that's it and like they're i mean they and they they have been like really close with each other for a long time so i think like chris rock's a little fucked up about it one of my favorite uh moments i as like chris rock was talking about david spade and um uh, eddie murphy when they were in the sml mm-hmm. and david spade made that joke and every eddie murphy has a really about eddie murphy and every murphy hasn't fucked yeah. with him since he still yeah, doesn't fuck with him to this day i know and i guess when chris rock sees uh david spade he goes like you know eddie's still mad at you <laughs> <laughs> that's great oh uh, yeah david spade and uh, chris rock they'd be in the adam sandler joint yeah because they all came out of the SML any of them yeah. things like i don't know I don't know how, like, I don't know why I identify with things that are more black culture than white culture, but, uh-huh. like, I kind of do. I don't, I don't know why. There's, I mean, be like this, I've yeah. also been called, I, it, it's, it's funny being a white dude loving things that are black music, black culture. Mm-hmm. I've been called a race trader before <laughs> by my own <laughs> friends. I swear to God. Dude. I think that's it. So like, I, I laughed about it. Up. I was like, this is <laughs> <sick."> <laughs> No, he gets it too because I like, get it too because because all other shit I do. Yeah. Like, he gets it too because or? like he's he's like in like the comic book game and like the skate I mean, culture. Com- like yeah, that's kind of how I got into hip hop was in the skate culture. I think right. skateboarding culture is like the greatest way to mesh everything together mm-hmm. and not give a fuck about like where you're from or what your upbringings are about. Oh, uh, you know well, yeah, big skater. Oh, well, is he really a big nice? skater? Yeah, Hypo oh, yeah. is a big skater. That's I mean that was my life. You know, like me and my boys like Donnie and Nick Hotsies and like. And Baru and like all all of our friends, we just skateboarded everywhere. Everywhere we went, we skateboarded and we would fucking do skateboarding tricks and listen to hip hop music and listen. We listen to rock music too, though. I used to live. I used to rock like corn t-shirts. Yeah, well, yeah. fuck yeah, bro. Oh, you know what what Tony Hawk actually said? He Tony said Hawk my Tony Hawk. Ho- Tony Hawk said that Hobson is the best non-professional skateboarder he's ever seen. Who is Hobson? Hobson? Yeah. Has he know. seen Wade? Apparently, is Wayne doing shit real for real? Skate- I know he would. No, he quit rap for a minute to skateboard. I mean, <laughs> obviously, he's back skateboard. Oh, rapping, but right. But I know he you quit can't for be a on lean skate- and be good at skateboarding. Now. Apparently, he's not bad. <laughs> right, Lil yeah. Wayne is a fucking anomaly. Apparently, <laughs> it's definitely an anomaly. Y'all really talking about Carter Five yet? Yeah, well, we a couple did, weeks we, ago. We, yeah, we didn't touch on it like that deep though. We, we talked a lot about Mona Lisa specifically, but like, Kendrick. I yeah. feel like Kendrick stole the show on that album with the one verse. I like the one with him and uh, Jeff, not Jess Blaze, uh, fucking Swiss Beats. I want to try to do like the special delivery. Yeah, it's like two. It's like special track two or three or something remix. like that. Yeah, uproar, uproar. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you hear Swissy fucking uh, freestyle though on Punk Flex. No, with uh, French Montana. That's fucking dope. It was a French Montana freestyle. And then Swizzy just fucking comes in and starts going. Showtime. <laughs> Sure, yeah. no, like, all right, so Alicia Keys has been my longest running crush since 2001 when Fallen came out. I was like, oh, that's, that's, that is like the woman I fucking goo goo eyes over. Yeah, she went all natural and shit. Still looks what? fucking amazing. Still looks no disrespect to Swiss Beats. I would never fucking try to disrespect this woman. But man, Alicia Keys is. Shout out AP. That's an angel. That's an angel right there. Big shout, big shout, big shout. And shout out Swiss Beats, man. What a fucking legend, man. Like, he's still. As important today as he was in like DMX's run, yep. you know what I mean? Like, yep. he's yeah. still that big. Like that's so fucking yep. nuts. Yeah, there's some there's some bright there's some bright spots on on C five. I haven't listened to it all the way. It's twenty three tracks, man. Yeah, it's twenty three. It's twenty three tracks. Twenty three songs. <laughs> so it'll be hard for me to listen to it. Like I've been listening to it in like five song bits, you know. Yeah. But uh, I'm, I'm gonna sit down one day, man. I'm gonna listen to that shit all the way through. I gotta check out that, and I gotta check out Dom Kennedy's new joint. Dom Kennedy put out Rodney. He had a new joint. He's yeah. on tour. He's going on tour. Yeah, I'm going to see Dom Kennedy 28 in St. Andrews. Whoa! I, yeah, I know he's on. Yeah, he's on. I know he was on tour. Yeah, Dom, Dom, Dom. It's just like it's just realm of like Dom, Smoke Dizza, Currency. You know what I'm saying? Like Devin the Dude, Stop, Whoa. Stolly. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like Stolly. just a laid back fucking. We smoke. Smoke Diz has got an album out, by the way. Came out fucking 
Not even that long ago. Uh, he's uh, not for sale. Not, he's, yeah, he's not for sale. Not yeah. Yeah. Speaking of consistency, Dizzy, man, he's been killing shit. I love though. smoke Dizzy, man. That fucking Pete Rock album was for that. Yeah. Don't smoke yeah, Rock. Was. I'm pretty sure they're working rock. on another one. Yeah, that joint, yeah. He got, joint he got on there with John Kennedy, Big Crit. And uh, it might just be them. This shit's so yeah, wild, dude. Crazy. Like, Big Crit is, <laughs> oh, man. by the masses, is so slept on. Now they want to oh, hear a oh, country man. nigga rap. Five oh albums in, God. I swear, a country nigga's now fucking love. Is that like the Leaper's Freestyle? Bro. Oh, my God. Yeah, he, he's fired. That other uh, double album he dropped is just bananas. He's, oh, yeah. Still, Scott's, uh, he's uh, only Scott. I like that. I like Cat, what's yeah, it, Cadillac? Yeah. Cadillac? Cadillac. 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 Yeah, Justin Cadillac. Scott's side, Big Chris side. Yeah, this is fine. Justin Scott. That was the that was the one. I think it's on the Justin Scott yeah, side. That's yeah. like the very first track on there. So fucking hard. Yeah, would it really be? I'm just uh. uh you I'm guys Justin ever watch some mass appeal videos where it's like a rhythm roulette where they like they gotta pick out like sorry so they take like a mass appeal takes like a rapper okay like usually a rapper producer okay and they gotta go in they blindfold them All they right. take them into a record store and pick out three random vinyls. Word. And those three random vinyls that they pick out are the ones that they get to use to sample the beat. Mm. And then they have to make a beat within like a I certain amount of with, time. Uh, it's they, they had one with, with, it was the big crit episode. They had one with uh, Danny Brown and uh, A-Rab Beats. Oh, A-Rab, A-Rab Beats? A-Rab, A-Rab Beats, yeah. 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 And it was, that's how Molly Rewalt. I think Molly Rewalt came from that. What? <laughs> <laughs> that's wild. That's dope, dog. Fucking, uh... I forgot what I was just about to say. Well, Big Crit is fucking crazy. Big Crit's great. Like, so Big Crit, like, usually it's just someone, like, doing the beat. Like, they've had, like, oh, Kurt, that's what I was about like, to Kurt say. Knight on there. Like, Big Crit, like, Big okay. Crit, like, did a beat and recorded Shout a Shout out verse. to fucking, uh, uh, Plain J. Kurt Knight. <laughs> Plain Jane, yeah, Kurt Knight did that. Kurt Knight is on the beat. Plain Jane is my shit. Like, I don't think I'll ever stop playing Plain Jane. The Pro Era camp is so serious, man. Like, yeah. I'm so happy that Man, the streaming bad. services put fucking um, Joy Badass, Badass, Cap- first album, Capital Steve, Rest in Peace. Capital Steve's yeah, got like four or five tracks on there. And, like, right. Yo, like, that's, that's the last shit we ever go here. Yeah. yeah, that's big fact. Oh, what I was going to say was um, Hot Ones. Hot Ones, that's my shit to watch. Oh, I love Hot Ones. Yeah. Hot and, Ones is good. Hot I was watching the Anderson Bach one. We were just watching that. Yeah, Hot Ones and Rate the Bars. Rate right, the, the bars. The, the, last one, the last one I watched was currency, actually. Okay, right, yeah. the bars. And I, I, I've slowly but surely been fucking with Full Size Run, which is like a joint that Trinidad James got with like these two other dudes. I've heard Trinidad James since he left his label has been actually dope. I've, Dude, I've he heard. is dope. I've Trinidad heard. James I haven't listened like, to him. As a man. media personality, is an amazing dude. Like, he's super, like, you don't get it twisted. Like, Trinidad James is really smart. He got bars, yeah. too. Because he's, yeah, yeah, he's, he's, on the, uh, he's on the mini movie with, with, with Gambino, clapping for the wrong reasons. Mm-hmm. And he's in there, and he got some bars on one of the Gambino tracks. And he has this really, really dope, like, uh, homage to sneaker culture song. Mm-hmm. It's called High Beach. Y'all have ever heard of Trinidad James, High Beach. Check it out. DJ Fat Bitch is exclusive. <laughs> Man. <laughs> for real, for real. That's our main thing about this thing, though. Like, I, I, I love this podcast so much because, like, we talk about different shit. Well, not only do we talk about different shit, but we, like, promote a lot of Detroit artists. So, like, I think that's, like, that gives me a lot of pride throughout my week. Like, so, obviously, we, like, both of us have, like, nine to five jobs. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, he's got to pay for bills and shit. But well, it, it gives me right. so much pride, like, having this podcast and being able to go through my week, like, while I'm at work, mm-hmm. being like, oh, shit, I want to talk about that's straight up like i have like every week like and even shit that we don't get to like because sometimes we run long on our episodes like uh-huh. i'll like copy and pay like this, like this fucking like, right. this is all like for this right. episode like i'll just copy and pass it and be like all right so that's what we're talking about next episode like it's yeah just, we like our runtime is always like usually an hour and a half two hours depending, depending like if it's just him and i it's usually an hour if we have guests usually like, i know when we had uh we had, we had Juan Michael in here. Oh, like Juan Michael was dope. That, that was was that, that's, that's still my favorite. Shout out to Juan Michael OG. That's my favorite. That's still my favorite yeah, episode. Uh, like, Connor from Legend. He's also yeah. still my favorite like local Detroit music that I've been listening to like since the podcast came out. Right. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. yeah, bro. And like, I like I hear you rapping like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, my 
Sasha had a had a he had like a fucking Oh he does it too. Yeah, he he did some shit. He's like, fuck, I'm gonna try something new. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Hell yeah. <laughs> that shit was dope, bro. Now like him he just told me like, we had uh, one of the dudes from Legend on here, but like uh, Connor. I haven't listened to the music yet. Yeah, Connor D shout out to Legend him and uh Quinn He was Tebow. a great guest yeah. too, bro. Connor was a great guest. Quinn Tebow? Huh. Uh, Quinn Siebel. Oh, Quinn yeah. Siebel. Shout out to him. Like okay. him and Connor Dean make a legend. It's like a e- it's like a EDM like group. All right, they're, they're based out here. Yeah. They fucking do Those dudes are fucking talented. Yeah. Why did I have Dugatron on here? Dugatron. Yeah. Focus. Shout out to Kyle Prater. Yeah. Uh, Stevie T. Stevie T. Part of Dugatron. Oh, we were fucking kill that episode. I can't wait for that. Stevie T. Like so, it's 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 wild being friends with like people. Like. Bubbling up because I've been friends. Yeah, a lot of shit season, coming so up. Like didn't didn't you book a BB for some shit too? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, so we're, gonna, we're gonna play. So we're gonna play a track called Luke Belair. Hey, hey. Luke Belair. Come on, man. God damn, that song's been stuck in my head for like no a burgers alone. Oh, <laughs> like YG and BB. We're, we're, we're Bro, gonna, I, no. Shout out to Dre Down. We were at the fucking uh, from the deep to the deuce a couple of weeks ago, and he did that fucking dance, man. Fucking love yeah. a BB. <laughs> 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 that was Yo, he's fire, man. Hell yeah. He's so super dope. Rocky Five. Rocky Five. I yeah. told him, like, me, so me and Eman saw me, like, yeah. What was that showcase that you and I went to? What was it from called? The D to the yeah. 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 dance like yeah. Sada Baby, like Odell for the injury. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I talked to YG and BB uh, yesterday, and he was like, yeah, a Sada Baby sister follows you guys. So yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. I, I genuinely didn't know that. Right. <laughs> so. I don't know. You, you never know who follows you. Yeah, it's it's weird, small world sometimes about who you know. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Fuck yeah. That might be why we got the fucking new spike. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, it was weird. All right, so like, I can't even front like we're getting a lot of views yet. We got we got like we have, we got like four so was, views on like one video and then it shot to like fucking sixty something like. No, that was the weird thing. We had like, dropped one video and it was like four views. Like, cause we're not big yet, so it was like four views. And then like a couple hours later, I, I clicked on it because I'm like fucking like kind of obsessive about the numbers and shit. Okay. So I click on there, like Raymond, and all of a sudden we got sixty on there, and I was like, what? I just clicked down there like fucking 45 minutes The interview ago. I did in uh, Denver, I, I put that on we our podcast. We got like a spike too. in our show. Uh, yeah, the interview I did in po- like Denver. What was that, the Beats, Bloods, and Bruce version? Beats, Bloods, and Bruce. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> yeah, dude, oh my God, that's a whole fucking thing. I can't, I... <laughs> shout, oh out, I shout out, out to Chiba Chu. Bad, bad, bad. Shout out to Chiba Chu. So they have right. these like little things that, uh. If I would have known I could smoke out, can we smoke out here? Fuck yes. Yeah. Bad. Next time. <laughs> <laughs> we got hot we just going to play. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, bro. Amazing. No, they got these things. Very called, weed friendly house. So in Denver, they got these things called Chiba Chews, right? Okay. And they like this like little like gummy like edibles or whatever. And they had like this one like caramel one that tastes like fucking like a tootsie roll. Uh huh. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> I was litty. Something that fucking that shit. So I gotta, I gotta slide off the Denver. Oh, Are man. you in any recreational state? Shout out. Make to, sure y'all get y'all bitch ass stinking goat mouth mummy fucking asses out the, there to, to the, the polls, to the polls, man, to the preliminaries. <laughs> Yeah, go hey, register. We shout, need to shout, out, shout out to Canada. Y'all are real VP about that shit. Man, we just legalized it yesterday. Register, man. Go vote, man. Get your sticker, man. Why everybody out here talking about diamonds and shooting guns? I just want to see clean water with Kuzma from, man. Let's get this shit, bro. Oh, yeah, my yeah, God. I, like I, could, I, I could not agree with Breeze more. Like, go. It is as simple as going online to register to vote. Go it's online, not. register to You'll vote. You'll get up. Vote these motherfucking vote. assholes You'll out of fucking here, politics. Man. That You're are disenfranchising the fucking youth. You See this old. Oreo cookie sandwich I'm sitting you know in what right I'm saying? here? This Oreo cookie sandwich. <laughs> What's <laughs> going on? You'll go, you'll go get the motherfucking Jordans. You'll go get that 2K. You'll go get that Madden. Make sure you get your ass out of the box. Fuck you know? yeah. Vote these fucking old racist fucking sexist piece of shit politicians out of office. Yay. They don't they don't speak for us. Nah. The youth speaks for us. We yeah. speak for ours. Don't oh, lie to the kids, These old bro. motherfuckers don't know nothing. Don't lie to the kids, I, bro. I mentioned Listen this on a, kids, bro. Fuck yeah. I mentioned this on a podcast last uh, last week about the comic book I got recently. Mm-hmm. So I'm a big, I, I, I'm a a big comic book. The kind of Barack story. Panther. So they have a comic book <laughs> called Barack Panther. Okay. And it's literally <laughs> the same story as Black Panther, but with Barack Obama. Sure. And like political figures. So the villains are in there are Cheney. Like, okay. So he fucking shoots chains from his fucking arm or whatever. 
the Orange Menace is the main Venom. Trump, Trump. Trump. Right. And then Kanye Monger. Kanye <laughs> Monger. <laughs> <laughs> She's so wild, bro. That's funny as fuck. I almost brought it with me today, but yeah, I fucking I highly recommend that story too. And I think they just released the second issue, so I might go oh. pick that up. Sounds like some black black dynamite shit. It is some black dynamite shit, indeed. I All right, fellas. So I told you, you not interrupted to, my kung fu. I told you not to, I told you not to interrupt me while I'm doing my kung fu. <laughs> <All right, laughs> so, I do want to bring up something sort of serious on here. Okay. Well, it is serious. Talk to us. And it, it's ridiculous, okay. man. It's something that I want to talk about as a white dude on this fucking show because. So obviously now, like in 2018, everything's on video, right? Right. So we got this video now of fucking this lady claiming sexual assault on a nine-year-old black dude. Oh, man. And when it comes down to it, we see the video. We see the surveillance video. It was literally a fucking black kid with his mom. He had his backpack on, walked past this lady who was in line. Are you talking about the shit at the gas station? At the yeah. fucking, yeah. But she's, like, thrusting her hips at him? She's fucking, thr- well, all right, so he... She's in line. We see what we see from the video is she's in line. He walks past with like holding his mom's hand. This kid's fucking nine, nine years old. Yeah. Walks past with his not mom like holding his mom's hand. Backpack hits this woman. She claims sexual assault on him. Calls the cops. Does this that whatever whatever whatever. Yeah yeah yeah. Not even like a day later, we got this other white lady calling a fucking cops on this black dude, literally just trying to come home to his apartment that he fucking lives in. That's almost like the shit where the the guy walked into his own, oh, he was in his own apartment. The girl thought that, I guess like she shot him because she thought he was invading, but she actually was in the wrong apartment. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, Some he shit. was already yeah, in there. Yeah, he was already in there. Yeah, yeah. Already it was in the place too, yeah, right? She, tried, she walks in. Killed him. Yeah, yeah killed, him. Her killed him. That's like when I was talking about. Uh, that's like when the old white lady called the uh, called the cops on the girl. She was out there selling like jewelry or candy bars yep. or some stupid shit. Like, but she was selling fucking water bottles. Water shit. bottles. Yeah, I know. It was I was talking about like this, that. and I look he, like I was talking to Neil and I was talking to Neil and Nick about this yesterday. Like you heard, you heard, you know the story about George Steinman, right? George uh-huh. Steinman Jr. Yeah. So. For those of you not familiar with it, he, like those are like back in like the fifties, like this fourteen-year-old black kid, he got executed because he, they he allegedly killed two white women. He's fourteen years old. The trial was all it was all white people, and he, the, I think, like of the, course the jury is gonna be all white people. Yeah, it was the fifties, of course. But yeah, they, I guess, like the fucking deliberation took like like. An hour, or something like that. Fifteen minutes. Some. It was something like. It was oh, no, ridiculous. No, ten seconds. No, it, wasn't, it wasn't seconds. It was no, like bro, ten, you, you. It wasn't seconds. It was ten like ten minutes. To, it was like ten. It was like ten to fifteen minutes. Yeah. I think we brought it down. Yeah, 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 yeah you're right. It was like ten to fifteen minutes, minutes, something like that. And then they gave a guilty verdict, and he got executed for it. And I'm just thinking, like, how the fuck? And he was he was the youngest person in American history to be executed. And you, and you can bring that back to Emmett too. Crazy as fucking shit to me. Right out my mouth. Yeah. And it's still the same shit. If you're gonna so, send, so uh, you go send, if you're gonna send Jalo Pudang to jail, you got a motherfucker send uh, the lady who falsely accused him until the jail. Yeah, and Easy. she admitted that shit on her or deathbed. Death she faked. Uh, she like made it up. Hey, but, all right, so this like is legit. Something. If you're accusing people of that shit, you should be in jail. Like right, there's no the same, fucking I'm way. I'm the same way with fake with fake rap. Well, or rape, fake rape? Rape, yeah, rape absolutely. Rape. And they actually did. They made that. I agree. I they agree. made it a thing now. You can actually go to jail for, like, falsely accusing rape. As you should. Yeah. Well, here's a question I want for you guys, because I'm a white dude in this, so. What do you mean by you guys? <laughs> Black people. <laughs> Straight up, I mean you guys. Fair enough. Straight right, up, I, I do mean you guys. Um, I think it's, like, insane. Uh, so it's insane because I've been, in, all right, so I'm going to relate this to me first as a white guy who's, <laughs> into black music, into black culture. I've been in a lot of rooms where I've been one of very few white people in there. And you feel so but comfortable, right? I feel com- That's the thing I was going to bring up. They never make me feel uncomfortable at all. Right. If anything, it's to make you feel more comfortable. It's right. great. Like, it's, it's super, it's, it's easy. And you know what I think that I, the, the reason I think that I can equate that is, is that um, black people are used to seeing white people. So they're not uncomfortable when they see white people. Oh. So I don't make them feel uncomfortable. But when the, the situation is reversed, I think 
what it is is just a cultural shock and white people not me but like people that are outside of like the the wheelhouse of black culture and hip-hop and how all that goes is they're just afraid of shit that they don't know anything have about have you seen the movie it just came out last year suburb account mm. with uh matt damon oh i wanted to see that i didn't see it Have you seen it before uh-uh. so suburb account what it is it's set in like the 50s and it's like this like so like high, you know, like white picket fits uh, <coughs> suburban area and stuff like Pleasantville? that. Pleasantville. It's like pretty much like Pleasantville, okay. only way more fucking twisted. All right. So there's a black family that moves in, and pretty much like there's a lot of shit going on in this movie. But one of the themes is like they what do you call it? There's like a like that's like the mom kind of like hey go over and play with like their kid or something like that. Like kind of mm-hmm. like to break the tension because people are just looking at the black family like what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> And then, so they do that. And then I get like after, I guess like later that night, they go into the house or whatever. They go into the house, like the, I guess the people that saw it. And they're like, oh, so you were, you know, you were associated with the colors. So they go in and pretty much just steal all their shit and vandalize all their shit just because they were, you know, fucking around, because they were hanging out with black people. Right. And the whole, I mean, there's a whole big ass twist to that movie that, you know, that's not relevant to that, but that's uh-huh. like a whole big thing where they were harassing like the black family. Right. Like they were like posted up outside their house, just breaking their shit, like causing a riot. Right. And they're saying like, I don't want, you know, I don't want them here because they're fucking causing this problems and stuff like that, which, you know, everything would be in peace if, you know, you just leave them the fuck alone, let them be in peace. Right. But, you know, you guys want to cause a ruckus saying that, you know, they're the problem and, you know, you guys are the fucking problem. Yeah. Not saying, you know, like, you know, that's, you know, like the culture thing, but like, the, I mean, I just kind of resonated with that movie a little bit. Like, damn, that's really fucked up. So I remember when I moved out, because I grew up in Detroit, mm-hmm. and I remember when I was like 14 or 15, and I moved out to Canton, because I know both sides. I know the fucking hood ass side, and I know, like, the suburban side. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, for me coming there, like, just hanging out with all white people and shit, it's a big ass culture shock, man. I it's was crazy. like, yeah. It's really, you know, I felt outcasted for a minute, then I started playing football and stuff like that. And that's kind of how I got into it. Mm-hmm. And I just, you know, and I, you know, I got my own group of friends from there. But I just know, like, it was a lot easier, you know, when you're a part of something, mm-hmm. like, you know, like a sports or something like that, or music, or, you know, to actually get into it. That's kind of feel like you're kind of accepting the culture a little bit with that, just because. You know, you pay homage and shit like that. Well, right, and there's also, like, a level of, like, um, I think a lot of white people are just, like, unabashedly afraid of black folks. You know what I mean? Like, it's very strange to me because, like, I feel like an intimidated type I feel like maybe so, but, like, all right, so for me, the easiest way to, to know that you're equal to everybody is I'm a factory. Before this podcast, I'm a factory worker. Right. I work in a factory where there is equal parts black, white, lesbian, gay, Mexican. We all work there. You know what I mean? And right. we all get paid the same. Right. So like the 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 you know that you're you you're just the same stuff. You ain't shit. You know what I mean? Right, 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 you right. ain't shit. You are the same as everybody else. Is the easier to accept everything. I think there's just like a, a there's a, a disproportionate amount of white folks that just don't know anything about black culture so it like freaks them out you know yeah like because i feel like they base it off of shit they fuck what is that cognitive association i think that's what it's called yeah cognitive. i think that's the proper term for it so they don't know anything about like black culture or black people or anything like that because they've been around like you know that that whole circle all their life Mm -hmm. so all they have to judge black people by is what they see on tv or they see the media the stereotypes and all that shit so when you actually see like a black person and stuff like that you know trying to Talk to them. You already have that image in your head, like, oh, right. oh there's about to be some shit. And then you're so out here prepare myself. Now you're out here looking like the fucking real life Michael Scott. Fucking straight up. Oh my god. Straight up. Prison Mike, bro. Right. Oh, prison Mike. Uh, I just feel like you know, like you were saying, if you come around a bunch of black people, then like you know, they would like go out the way to try to pick you yeah. up. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. And when the shoes on the other foot, if we're in a whole bunch of in front of a whole bunch of white people. It's not necessarily the same. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Or the total fucking opposite. And yep. until there's a, like a level, you know what I'm saying, playing ground, whether it's Mexican, Indian, whatever, whatever, there will always be some sort of fucking divide. Mm-hmm. I remember like when I, me and uh, my boy at the time, Jeremiah, like we went to like some random party at Eastern back in the day. This was like maybe it was like 20, like 21, 22, whatever. I'm all, I'm cool with most of the people in this house already because we all play football. We all went to high school together and shit. 
And then, like, I guess, like, these people I didn't really know so well. Like, I've seen them before, but I don't really talk to them and shit. And then they go, they, like, we were like, hey, we got next one beer pong table, whatever. I'm like, cool, cool. So, you know, we're watching the shit, and then time for the game, like, hey, you know, you know, we got next. And then some the other people moving. I'm like, yo, we fucking called this shit. Go, well, you know, I didn't see him. Like, you look, literally looked at me in the face and said, we called it. I, we called the shit. You just confirmed it. He goes, like, no, nah, man, I mean, I didn't really see anything. I'm like, you know what? Fuck you, bro. Mm -hmm. It's type deal. So, and I'm like, I'm like, honestly, you know, you know, I kind of, I, I don't hold anything, and I always let my lowest be known. No, for sure. So I just you, made a whole fucking thing about it. And, and it turns out how we end up playing. What's right. the other thing? <laughs> That's real, man. <laughs> it just, you know, it just goes to show, you know, for that to be in the 1950s, based in the 1950s, you know what I'm saying, or for old shit to happen in the 1950s and before, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. to now, it just, it just goes to show. Just yep. little, like stigmatisms, man. But like, just shit, like. But I personally feel. I, I personally believe, like, you know, what I'm saying, a couple years, everybody gonna look like Russell Wilson and fucking Blake Griffin. Straight just, up, right? man. Everybody's <laughs> gonna be orange in and a they second anyway, and it's not even gonna fuck. As matter. they should. I think like it's the, not even gonna fuck the narrative that needs to be changed the most is like, um, like even today, like so, like. Bro, I got my answer. You know how they're like technically, <laughs> yeah, they're technically black Twitter or whatever. Yeah, I feel like I'm more black like, Twitter's fucking that, awesome. That's basically, <laughs> I, 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 that's basically what I'm into because I guess I subscribe to black Twitter too because like that's like the shit that I follow. Right. But like, there's also this narrative of like I saw it on there today of uh -huh. like black women running out of good black men today. And it's like, man, I get that. I understand, and I get it, and I I, I get that that you like white I, dudes have done so many terrible uh, fucking things, but like, I mean, I feel like that's always been a narrative, like between like, oh, there's not enough. I don't like the way that black women act, so I only date white women, and right? I, and I'm a black right, man, right. or black women being like, oh, I only date you know Johns and and Adams, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Thomas type shit. I mean, I feel as though that will always be the narrative. At the end of the day, it's just fucking personal preference. Yeah, it's not, it, like for real. Like, it's, like, I know, like a friend of mine, like for instance, he refuses white dude. He refuses to date white girls at all. He's like, I feel like black girls. I know who you're talking are, about right now. Yeah, you know. Yeah, <laughs> shout out. You know, I'm gonna fucking say name. Shout out to my boy Bono. So I'm like, shout out to my boy Bono. I fucking just say his name. Fuck it. Like, so he like. <laughs> <laughs> he just flat out looked. I, I straight up looked racist in front of him one time. No, Bro, he like, refuses to date no, white women. Front, white dude so. refuses to date white women. He, he goes like, white girl right? problems are just way more different. Than, like, black girl problems are just way more different than white girl problems. I'm like, <laughs> this is some shit I gotta admit. I gotta, I gotta admit this so shit. Much. So, he was over at our boy's house, right? And he like, so, so like 21 and on, he's only dated black women. Right. And he's a white dude. And like, <laughs> so like, I met this girl that he was dating over at our boy Seabone's house. And then, uh, it was a different party, like a year later, right? I'm over there, and he's introducing me to his girlfriend, and by all accounts, I think it's the same woman. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, oh yeah, I met you last time I was here. She's like, what? I'm like, yeah, I think I met you last time you were here. She's like, rah rah. No, <laughs> I'm like, Oh, bro, shit! Did I accidentally just drop the next shit? I'm this on the <laughs> my actual. You guys were just like, this is my actual ancestry fucking results and shit, by the way. Did I just pull the <laughs> all black people look alike shit? Straight that's what I thought. Oh, oh, man. That's the like, worst. Well, well, all right, so she was, like, and she was heavy set too. So I no, that's what he goes for, bro. That's what I got. It's all, he, it's the same fucking mold. Like, you know, go for it. In both <laughs> times that I met this black person, that's what he goes for. I was drunk. I'm like, hell yeah. Cardi B said she got that big bitch pussy. <laughs> you're not gonna let you learn that. <laughs> you're not gonna let you learn that. Read that shit off. All right, so you are 27% Cameroon slash Congo. Okay. 18% <laughs> great. I was, I was definitely a fucking. I was laughing at the first that's part. That's definitely some. Second part. That's definitely some like ancestor rape <laughs> shit. Yeah, you're, there, but you're, you're like 18%. 
Great Britain. Oh, shit. <laughs> Good night, Mike. Good night. Crumpus and tea in this bitch, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I, I got out of a, some, like There's 16% like Cameroon. It's like uh, the rest of it is straight up from Africa, but like I got the 18% fucking British. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Like, all right. Here's something a little deep that I just realized. Like, so my grandmother is 87 years old, right? Right. And I was at my best friend's dad's, like, surprise birthday party, right? But okay. I didn't nobody there. I didn't really know a whole lot of people there. Besides, because, like, a lot of them were his friends. And, you know, like, I don't really, like, associate with his friends all that much. But my grandma was there. So I sit down at a table with my grandma and I get a beer. And her and I are just talking. And it's like having conversations with people that are older. Fucking mind blowing, man. Because like she was they telling me about shit. She, she was like, well, she was telling about like how her, her dad and her mom were both on the like over here off the boat from Ireland or not from Ireland. I'm sorry, England. I get it. And like, and she, I don't know. It was very, very weird. Like to hear her talking about like growing up in like the fucking thirties in Detroit and being like an immigrant from, from England. And and you think like I don't know because as a white dude you think about like uh, just like founding this fucking nation but it's not even that you know like, we didn't found it <laughs> at all we found like, it we we yeah. <laughs> <laughs> found it but didn't really find it right 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 I mean Columbus we're still celebrating Columbus Day even though that motherfucker got lost he was found lost at sea by the actual native American the actual Americans. Right. Fuck saying Native Americans. They were the real American. Well, that's what Native American means. Mm -hmm. The Native to America. The native to America. <laughs> it's all in such the day. A, such a terrible thing that we got to fucking... That we still, so, why do we still celebrate Columbus Day? Fuck Christopher Columbus. He was a racist. I say that every time, every year. Fuck Christopher Columbus. He didn't discover shit. Like, he just invaded the fucking a territory. Yeah. And a and, rapist. And a murderer. And a murderer. <laughs> He just fucking raped and pillaged and fucking annexed the whole land. That's what he did. <laughs> and we got to still work on that day, so fuck him. Yep. Mm -hmm. It should be called Indigenous Day. or Indigenous like, uh, People Day. Indigenous People Day, yeah, that sounds it's hard. To, it's really hard to, like, celebrate Thanksgiving, too. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I still I smash on Thanksgiving. But I don't even eat Thanksgiving. I still eat on Thanksgiving, on Thanksgiving but I, I'm all about, like, uh, them, them side dishes. Right, and yams. <laughs> you vegan? No, I'm not vegan, but I haven't eaten. Well, I still eat fish like occasionally, okay. but like I haven't eaten actual oh, like just like, slash Presbyterian. Like, I don't much. like I don't do pork or beef, like red meat or pork. I don't eat at all. I haven't eaten I'm meat say, since yeah. like slowly but surely weaning both of them out. Yeah, yeah. I only fuck with like pepperoni as far as the pork goes, and then uh, beef. I just get. Like I just be craving a burger every now and then. Bro, and I've been like made out of ground turkey. I got off. I've been I've been like it's so I've been. Though. Yeah, still, like I've been eating uh, what do you Hold call it? Before, like ground, like not ground turkey school. Ground, I've actually had ground chicken before. Okay, which is actually pretty straight. Yeah, I've had ground chicken before. It was yeah. straight. I'd be fucking up some ground turkey. I got some freaky recipes. Uh, I just made some fish tacos actually Tuesday. Okay, I don't know as hell. Like out of some uh, salmon, but yeah. not salmon out of uh, cod. Actually. Okay, yeah. yeah, you fried it. Uh, no, nah, sauteed it. Okay, so it's like a little bit. Like I don't really like try fry it. I do like vegetable oil, like the spray. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. You know, I don't, I'm trying like to go on a clean here. kick. Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah. I'm trying to go on a clean kick. Recently. The most fire, the most fire fish tacos I have are the uh, like fried cod oh, with like a freaky boy. little like coleslaw. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That was it was straight with a little like soft little aioli. Put a little bit of pico de gallo and like some like little bit of lemon zest on it. Yeah, avocado. I did make I did make good. some uh, I made some some swai fish tacos the other day. They weren't for me. I oh, oh no, I actually got. I think I took a photo of this. Shit. Okay. Sorry. Uh, Check this out, Chef Mano. Oh, Chef White Russian Mano. That's the indeed. That. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there you go, right there. That's the plate. Okay. Oh, okay. I think I see this on your page. Yeah. You answered the age old rocket power question. Yep. Okay. Is a fish taco yeah, shaped like a fish? That's no. <laughs> that Spanish rice on yeah. there. No, that's brown rice. I actually uh, just put a little bit of seasoning on it. Okay. Yeah. A little like Cajun season or yep, something. Exactly. I like it a lot, Doc. Fuck yeah, man. What other topics we got? Uh, let's see. I mean, we can get into some more like the actual like. Oh, we can get into some new releases, some shit that's about to come out. Okay. Uh, Khaled got an album coming out. With the father and son shit. 
No, Khaled, uh, what's the name? The Young, Dumb, and Broke Khaled. Oh, oh yeah. Shit. And he was on a Logic Cell. Or lo- Your location now. Yep. I fuck with Khalid. Yeah, Khalid, yeah. Khalid, yeah, Khalid. Khalid, yeah. Disturb has a fucking album coming out. That was dope. I haven't heard. Yeah, are you familiar with Disturb? Uh-uh. Down with the sickness. Get up. Get, get, oh, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. heard it before. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. Fucking disturbed and yeah, this big ass Chicago band. I think actually Obama fuck with him. Or they fuck with the group, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I've always been a big disturbed fan back in the day. REM got a project coming out, that's dope. Sure, looking forward to come up. Got some Tom Morello, he put an album out, that was kind of dope. Tom Morello from uh he was a guitarist and Rage Against the Machine. Okay. Yeah. I fuck with a little rage, man. Rage is dope. Oh, you uh, you fuck with Prophet, Prophets of Rage? Uh, who's that? Prophets of Rage is a collab between Rage Against the Machine and uh, fucking what's the name? Beat Cypress Hill. Oh, that would probably be dope. I've always dude. liked the the rap, the rap, the dude who always rapping on the rage. Oh, uh, Tom, uh, Zeke De La Roca. Okay, he's on a he's on a Run the Jewels joint. If you want to check, if you check it oh, out. Oh man, Run the Jewels is so crazy. Yeah. Uh, what's it? Close your eyes and count the fuck. That's the song he's on. Okay. It's on uh, Run the Jewels too. Man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check that shit out. We're talking about uh, a little bit of rage against the machine, and then like well, talking about uh, Run the like was it Zach De La Roca's on that Run the Jewels track? Like, uh, close your eyes and count the fuck. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, oh shit. Tom Morello gets some feel. Sorry, I had to get some Yeah, we're talking about Tom Morello, too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, to backtrack, it's my mind fuck a couple people. It's like 17 minutes ago. But when we was talking about uh, in 37 seconds, no, I'm just bullshit. <laughs> when we was talking about the damn album, okay. I, uh, I, had some, I had some extra time in the studio when we was recording uh, High Breeze with a chance of potency. Okay. And I ended up jumping off of a. Uh, um, I ended up jumping on that Duckworth instrumental. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Me and Arius got some shit on that. Nice. That's going to be on my Field of Breeze 2 mixtape. Yeah. Oh. And then I also jumped on that, uh, I, that's my name, think I'm selling dope. <laughs> you know follow me. Don't yeah. follow and me. Oh, yeah. That shit is yeah. wild. Yeah, y'all, man. It's too wild. He, he had a story about that shit when I went to see him in concert. So it was dope. The, did you see the, uh, the HBO series they did on that album? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. they actually had, like, the police footage of them breaking in the house. Uh-huh. Just, that shit was crazy as fuck. Yeah, dog. That shit's dope. My favorite is Boss did the same shit on his album, Milky Way. He was talking about, this goes out to my bitch-ass neighbors. Milky Way is fire. Yeah. Milky Way is fire. Milky Way is fire. I'm out in Buckner for town. I gave Milky Way a break because I was yamming it so hard. Milky Way is fucking fire. Uh, I like the shit he got. Uh, so, so, some designer. Like a pan of designer, uh, uh, designer. We're talking That's about uh, before we went. We talking about designer? No, we're talking. No, nah, no, no, no. We're not talking about designer. Not trash designer. I seen him in that Kyle movie. <laughs> oh, he was in uh, he was in the Purge too. Yeah. Was the, uh, was it the first Purge? Yeah, I guess yeah. he's in it. Entertaining or something. No, you, you want to talk about that movie actually? Well, I, I've seen it like three times already. Kyle like, Kyle, yeah, that yeah, part. I've seen it once. Oh, oh. oh. Fumble. <laughs> <laughs> it was straight. It was it was okay. Seizure boy. Seizure it was okay. Boy. It wasn't as good as high school. No. <laughs> but it was okay. Definitely for a Netflix <laughs> film. No, I actually and all, really all like the cameos, movie. all the cameos they had in it. It was straight. It was, was that it was okay? Can you confirm something for me? Because I, I, I was that LP in a in a like the sandwich shop or the Chipotle shop. No oh. movie in an after party. They go like, "Hey, you see your boy, right?" And then he was like in the video with him. I think that was LP from the Jewel. That, that might have been LP. I can't. <laughs> He's got married. Shout out to yeah. LP. Oh yeah, yeah, he did get married like yesterday actually. Oh. Yeah. Oh man, I can't tell you. Uh, I know Jada was, Kiss was, if it was they throw him in the credits. So yeah. I, I was, I yeah, was going to say, I, I am no. it and I didn't see it. So, yeah. uh, so I, I don't know if it, it looked like him. Though. I definitely give, I definitely give the after party a solid. 60 Sam 70. <laughs> I'm gonna 75. 60 Sam 70, Rod Tomato score type shit, you know. Most definitely. Uh, Kyle, like, his, I, I like Kyle. I like Kyle. His though. voice sounds like a high pitched Tyler Crater for me. Though. I like, his, uh, uh, shout out to the creator. That fucking the last album he dropped was stupid. Oh, Flower Boy. Yeah, that was bro, crazy. I fucking love that album. I like the oh, I like the Kyle shit. Let me talk about like the actual evolution of Tyler the Creator. Right. Bro, so from Goblin mm-hmm. to where he started with just the shitty production that was on Goblin minus mm-hmm. like three songs. Like her was like I, not her was it? What was the one Frank Ocean? Was it her or she? She. She. Okay, yeah. I love that song. Uh, well, it was another song. Last spot open when she comes. 
What's another song? Oh, that been I think that. I think Tri Cat was another one I liked too, even okay. though it was absolutely fucked up. Yeah, like one of the most fucked up from metaphors I loved. It was a uh, victim, victim, baby, you're my fifth one. Something, something, something. Rape a pregnant bitch and tell my friends I had a threesome. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's when he was just shot, <laughs> shot, racked the fuck out. He was going to, yeah, that shock rap like yeah, that. Like, wearing all the cat shirts and shit. Yeah, but no, uh, from that to uh, Wolf. Mm-hmm. Wolf was a dope album. You had, uh, what's that? Fuck that. Golf way. Fuck yeah. that. Golf way. Like that, uh, Tamale mm-hmm. and all that shit. It's just how, like, Tyler Crater has evolved as a musician to me. It's just yeah, so really impressive. Well. Is he him? from LA? Is he in LA? Yeah. No, he, yeah. yeah. He had, so when I was in LA, he actually, like, I, was on, uh, so I was walking through the Fairfax. <laughs> when I was in LA back in like March, I was walking through Fairfax and shit, and just hang, like just hanging out with some people. And then I saw like eight because the Supreme store is down there. Apparently, he hangs out there all the time because that high school he went to was right across the street. Okay. So I didn't get to meet him or anything. I just like, I just kind of fun fact about that. Don't worry, yeah. no. Let's That's tight. Yeah, man. Shout out, Patrick. He, uh, to like, from being like just straight up bar for bar rapping, even if it wasn't the most lyrical, to being like a very, um, Trendsetter. No, his videos were like what and, better to be the like, like, you know, they're like, more of like a singer, but like more of anything, like complete song and actual good structural music. Like him and Mac Miller were like, bro, that the shit. two most, the biggest evolution yeah. in hip hop to me were Tyler Crater and Mac Miller. Good I track. think what's, yeah, like, Bino's up there too. Yeah, yeah. Bino's I think what's the coolest there. part about Mac Miller more than any other white rapper, and I think it's even what people call Eminem out of him, is like, he legitimately for was him. for the people, bro. Like, he literally was there to promote other artists. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that was his, yeah. like, passion in life was to put, like, the internet, SZA, like, Tyler, fucking yeah. Earl, S- Schoolboy, like, fucking Absol. Like, all them motherfuckers came up. Solo. Anderson Pop, Solo. All them motherfuckers came up, like, off of a fucking two- Chance the Rapper. Ah. Off of fucking ah. Mac Miller tour. I see the rap. Like, that yeah. shit is so fucking <laughs> dope, man. Like. Oh, oh, oh. You don't want a problem, you don't want a problem oh, with I mean, me. I watched the oh. video, uh, it, was like the spi- it was like the Space Migration Tour or whatever. I watched oh, the video put out yesterday. It's like the internet and Mac Miller playing the song together. And it's, it's just like... That was such... Because I was like right after watching the movie with the sound off came out, right? Oh, Which is my favorite no, Mac Miller album. No, before Good AM right came out. Yeah, watching the movie with the sound off. It was right before that. And you had, no, oh, yeah. had Faces too there. But. No, Good AM was before... Wasn't it? No, Good AM was, was after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, after right. that. that no, because yeah. Watch Movies with Sound Off was his second album. It was right after Macadelic. Yeah. And then you had Blue Slide Park before that. But yep. Macadelic was a mixtape. Yeah. Yep, yep. But no, I think Faces well, came out before uh, Watch Movies with the Sound Off. Was it before or after? I, I, I thought it was before, uh, before Good AM. I think Faces hit before watching movies with the sound off because I think Faces was on like that fifth as like a tape. Was it? More of the album. Oh, okay. And then after that, I think Good I Am hit. And then after that, it was the Divine Feminine joint. Mm. Which, that shit I didn't, like it, I didn't oh, like it at first. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at first. And it grew on me over time. To music fans, like, uh, though, there's like shit. three, there's like, there was like three songs I instantly like on because I didn't, I still don't like that. I still don't like the song. I love Mac Miller. I just still don't like that song. I love Cinderella. I love Cinderella. I love Cinderella. I love my favorite part. My favorite part with Ariana Grande, and then I love that uh, one with Kendrick. God is there. Those are like the three songs I instantly love on the album. The thing that fucks me up about him and I's like different like taste and shit is like the fact that like. A dang is like probably my one of my like in my talent like of all time. Not just on that album. Like, I love Mac Miller. I just still don't like, and I love Anderson Park too. I just don't like that song. <laughs> Wait, Malibu is a classic. Malibu is a classic. Yes, I agree. Oh man, I can't wait for his new one. Oxnard's gonna be a bird with a hurricane. <laughs> oh man, sweetness of the honeycomb. <laughs> <laughs> and now I take it home. <laughs> I couldn't take it if I wanted to. Him, Frank Ocean, and like Miguel are like some of my favorite. Dude, I love Oh, it. man. So, <laughs> I loved, uh, I like Blonde a lot. Actually. I love Blonde. Well, Channel fine. Orange was probably just still classic territory to me. Just, oh, my God. I think I've seen Blonde more than I was on Channel Orange now, though. I really do. I don't, I don't agree with that uh, aspect. Uh, I don't, I like you. I'm fucking hard. 
Lovely day down the summertime. Oh, that's awesome. Amazing. What's the name of that song? <laughs> I'm so terrible with like the name. So track. with so with music that I actually love the most, I'm terrible with the titles because if it's that <laughs> good, I'll just put that fucking album on and just play it. He got one. Uh, <laughs> he has one before Channel Orange. Think yeah, like with like, uh, with the cars with the first. Yeah, with Novocaine on. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, oh, let's swim good. Swim oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think it was actually God. called. That. I love that song. That actually might be one of my favorite. Yeah. Actually, might be my favorite. Like, yeah, you seen that video for Swim Good? Yes, with the katana and shit. Then he uh, <laughs> and the panda mask. And, like, yeah. He's got the katana <laughs> with the fucking shorts and some Jordan threes on. <laughs> Only dude that can pull that shit off. <laughs> Only nigga, bro. That shit was dope. <laughs> yeah, Gail's new shit, dog. Fire. I haven't heard of it. Yo, he's it dope. He's amazing, man. Like, I'm glad that he's finally like made it. So, like, I didn't like his last album because <laughs> I felt like he was kind of chasing Kaleidoscope, Kaleidoscope Green a little. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, the joint that had Wale on there with the coffee, <laughs> coffee in the morning. Oh man, I mean, just like that whole album was so good. Like, um, what was that one track? I was like, um. Oh, <coughs> Do you like drugs? <coughs> he had a door on there. Oh man! Real quick, I don't know if you heard this album yet. Did you hear the Mavi album yet? No, I wasn't yet. It was From dope. Area, oh my god! Yeah, that dude was fucking. We got fired. a song with Ti on there. That's hard. Yeah. No, I, that album was the fucking shit dope. From, uh, I've been fucking with the Ti album a lot. The shit from the Kaleidoscope Dream. Use me. Mm. <laughs> and he does that zombies cover on there. That, um, with the Gambino? No, oh, no. He, oh, he, oh, okay. No, I was like, what? At the end of you. At the very end of Use Me. It's um, he does that cover of the zombies. Uh, who's your man? Who's your daddy? Is he rich yeah. like me? <laughs> you know what? Oh man! That's well, speaking of Gambino and covers, the you now tuned in to V one hundred five point nine. We got Lloyd Telegraph app. No, <laughs> I love that shit, bro. The video for that shit is wild. In the old clip. In the old clip. <laughs> Every day when I need it, girl, I got you in your pills. <laughs> Cause a nigga don't so, like that shit at all. So <laughs> the video with Janago was fucking trippy as hell. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> that shit's steady. But that just shows you his fucking life. I love his I life. love shit like that. His creativity yeah. and shit, like he's a motherfucker, man. Vito Cole. Chance has some trippy shit too. He has like a mini video where he's on like some some killer shit. I forgot what Did it was you called. see I the video? That whole era, it was like a mini movie with uh, Kid Cudi and Cage. It's called Maniac. Uh uh-uh. uh. I know what you're talking about. I haven't seen it though. So, Kid Cudi was decent in what, what was he in? Need for Speed? Yeah. So have you seen it yet? It's like a fr- it, The whole movie's in French, by the way. Kid Cudi's speaking mm-hmm. French. It's like a 10 minute movie. So no, he's overdone in French. Oh, and uh, oh, Shia LaBeouf <laughs> directed it. Uh, Hands down, the best Hummer in the game ever. <laughs> 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 Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. oh, I say this shit on the regular dude. Like, all right, so he's gonna kick out of the He's not though. a good rapper. He's not a good singer. Let's just be honest. He can hum the shit out. He can hum the fuck out. He hum the fuck out of some shit. I was, I was, I was riding here until Kid Cudi came over on shuffle, and he was just like, "Shuffle, <laughs> no, the best is uh, what's, 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 that with, what's that track with what's that track with Travis Scott? He got uh on a uh, birds in the trap through the late night <laughs> all day. Did we play through yeah. the late night? <laughs> <laughs> I really like that. Uh, I. I ain't riding away. Too busy making oh, my own shit. way. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah. James. Have you seen it all? Oh, way, have you seen the like the mini movie Chance has like thirty minute songs called Mister Happy? That's what I thought, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm talking about that. So yep. have you seen it now? Yeah. So that was cool. And then the, the Kid Cudi one I was talking about, like so Kid Cudi and Cage are like serial killers. <laughs> okay. And like Shia LaBeouf is like the cameraman. You don't see him to like the very end. So okay. Spoiler alert. And it's like a first, it's like all shot in first person, and they're like recording. Like I said, you gotta get like seven kills each or something like that. So just go around like killing these people in the most brutal fucking fashion you can find. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Yeah, it is the craziest fucking video. Y'all fuck with uh, Big Baby Drop? I love Drop. Ain't no <laughs> that we are high. We are high. All that fuck shit. 
You got your hair looking like drama right now. Oh, uh, you know, just a little rouse of devil, mm-hmm. man. Not too much. A little yamitery. I, I, I love that Drum comes through with the most positive. Like, hey, white people, look how fucking nice black people are. <laughs> <laughs> like, I like how he has, like, like the, the, the fucking cover dog, with the puppy. Yeah. I like how he works with Rick Rubin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're just going to stay on, on the topic of that. <laughs> Rick Rubin. <coughs> I'm not Rick Rubin in a weird way. Okay. Are you talking about the whole Eminem thing? Oh, about how he yeah, Eminem is rocking that rock and black beats? This shit's trash as fuck. Kamikaze? No, no, no. Kamikaze is the first thing I was No, like, like uh, how he did like a lot of stuff. Like I think like Marshmallow's LP too. Like, all right, like unfortunate like, and unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, was that Crystal Leah? Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, Crystal Leah. Yeah. Unfortunate and unfortunate. <laughs> Yo. No, that's my favorite thing. All right, so I'm a humongous Eminem fan. Like, all right, so Biggie's Same. the first rap music <coughs> that I ever heard, like, that <coughs> fucked me up. Like, it was Biggie and Bone Thugs. Bah, 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 bah. That's, like, the first thing that ever fucked bah, me up. Bah, but bah. then, like, when I was in middle school, I remember, like, I really I heard that Eminem single, but it was edited on the radio, right? But I right. loved it, right? So I went to the store. My mom would let me buy parental advisor stick, or sticker CDs. So I, I, like, stole it. No, I didn't steal it, but I, I took the, the, prom, the I promo sticker, sticker right. and I put it over the promo advisory yeah, sticker. Yeah, yeah. I was like, Mom, I'm going to get this one. It was before there was any controversy right. about Eminem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, yo, let me get this. She's like, all right, cool. So I get it, and I take it home. I, the first time I heard the uncensored version of the fucking Slim Shady LP. <laughs> Holy Christ. Like, my whole life up, bro. <laughs> so I remember when I was in the It's like insane. I remember when I was in eighth grade, I got a story very similar to that. I convinced my mom to buy me <laughs> fucking crunk juice. I think it was like 04, 05. Crunk if juice in D12 world. Crunk juice in D12 world with the two albums I bought that day. Where can you go? Bro. Bro I, got, I remember I convinced my, my gram to grab me, not even my mom, my gram. Convinced her to grab me uh, street jeans, fabulous. Oh, um, he's on the fucking Aston Martin with the, the, the little blue fur on the mm. front. You get to listen to it. I think I might have been okay through the intro. I might have, I might have, <laughs> might have got through the intro. But it might have even been like halfway through the, you know what I'm saying? Suck on my dick and this, this, this. Bro, it was a wrap. It I, was over. I remember another it story. Was over. Me and my mom were at Best Buy. This is like maybe like 2000. The rap album with the sex skits on them, bro. Oh, man. Oh, man. So oh, Like wow. Biggie and Lil' Kim? Yeah. Yes. Or Monster Rhymes? Oh. But fucking like right, it's like right over, put my hands over your like, It's literally right after that fucking song. It's like a fucking dick sucking skit, bro. So me and, uh, <laughs> me and my mom went to Best Buy. Us. We went to go buy chicken and beer. Oh, I'm giving them. I went to go buy chicken and beer by Little Chris. I will okay. never forget this shit. So was, she buys and everything. My mom really didn't know anything about porno bit riser stickers and shit like that. So I go and buy it. Like, we listen to Splash Waterfalls. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> so, yeah, you know, the clean version of it, right? Right. So it's like, touch me. I bought the Dose So Gay. And so we listen to it. I'm like, hey, it's like the fucking song. Like, I bought the Dose So Gay. Like, I'm like, what? Me and my mom look at each other like, oh shit. Did he really just say that? <laughs> like, oh shit. Did he just really just say that? Then let that one slide. Face down, and uh, <laughs> They call me Mr. Lover Lover with my domination. <laughs> Yo, if Lud- I, I, I tweeted Ludacris the other day. Like, obviously, they never see like fucking peasants like myself, like just tweeting at him. But like, I was like, dude, if, like, if there's anyone in rap music that's deserving of a comeback, it's season, Ludacris. It's motherfucking Ludacris. Absolutely. Dude. You got that active like, money, uh, though. You got that Fast yeah. Five money, or that Fast Fierce money. Yeah, yeah, but I would love to see him make music again, bro. He's yeah, Luda's my guy. People say, oh, I sound like, people say I sound like Luda a lot. When I play, music, I play people music for the first time, they're like, bro, you sound like it. I get, I get Kanye. I don't actually. see that. Right? I get Kanye, and I get Killer Mike for some strange fucking reason. But I, I don't really I can see Killer Mike out of here. Actually, I give him Wiz Khalifa. I say he sounds like You are the second person ever says Wiz Khalifa. He, he sounds like Travis Scott on one of, on one of the songs. Who, me? Uh, yeah. Let me see. He is really? like, <laughs> like really? the reason I think he sounds like Wiz Khalifa is both of them are like black dudes that enunciate like hardcore, like uh-huh. every syllable is fucking rappers. The and whole his word. Fucking, you know what I mean? Like the like whole word is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Straight up. Let me 
let's see what what shit it is. But uh, yeah, I was like, oh, he sound like a, uh, he sound like a uh, like traps traps shot on this shit a lot. Straight up, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, we were talking about this yesterday. Travis Scott has we're, the best fucking ad libs in hip hop, by the way. That's what I'm throwing it up here. Guys, but we, were, we were a little silly and a little twisted yesterday. And anyway, I thought, I'm like, hopefully we don't get in like too deep of a fucking terrible place of music where the whole track is just ad libs. <laughs> There's actually no bars. It's just like <laughs> the whole track is just straight up. Yeah, twist. I, I, I can like, see that happening. Like, that happen. that, that's like it would be a designer song, pretty much. Then yeah, so it, it would it would legit be a designer song at that point because. Designer gets my all fucking ad libs. The new Migos joint. Oh yeah, them too. They yeah. might, sneak, they might have sneak a track in there. <laughs> they might sneak some. They might sneak a track in there with a chorus. Have a bar, maybe. Possibly a bridge, <laughs> and just a whole bunch of. Woo, 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 skirt, skirt, Yeah. Our trap guy might sneak one of them in. They, they damn near did with that. I like a light though. <laughs> Out, yeah. like I like, like I like, with like an extended bridge for about a half a verse. So we're, we're totally fine with it. It's our favorite. When I shoot my shot, that shit. What do you Dude, like? Actually, you know what? Bringing up that, that, that <laughs> drink, bringing up the Drake pushy shit. Yeah, so, hold on, hold on, I'm going upstairs. All right, so bringing up the Drake pushy shit. So Drake did the interview with LeBron. Okay, which is kind of what like. All right, it's not whack. It was all right. It was tight. But like LeBron, I hope I'm not letting you down with my decision. Right, and like. Okay, so he did that, and then um, Push went on Joe Biden's podcast. Yeah. So they both did fucking interviews. Right. Left me thinking, like, all right, as intriguing as these interviews were, why are my favorite rappers doing interviews about each other instead of rapping about each other? Joe Budden and Eminem, they did the same shit. Like, Joe did this stupid-ass fucking... But Joe's supposed to, Joe is allegedly retired. Or stuff. Right, and he's actually joking. said that, but, like, why is Eminem doing this, like, super-calculated interview with Sway? Right. It's, like, four-part bullshit where, like, you, like, motherfucker, you picked out the question, sis. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. It was the most set up right. good ass shit I've ever seen. Oh, it's so silly, dude. No one talked about that shit, you know, just like I'm with him on it. To just just kind of like trying to be trendy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's not you don't necessarily have to be trendy, dog. You don't mm-hmm. have to you don't have to be trendy. You don't have to be trendy. He, I, I, you don't have to go get the Travis what, Scott. That's what really doesn't have, make sense to me to about it. Eminem that much. Like I don't know why he seeks the validation of the youth today so hardcore, because he doesn't need it. Like he is who he is. Like, I like how, Eminem how, is like fucking like right. did so many careers and is like one of the. Uh, we're never gonna say he's not one of the top tier rappers. Right. So, I, you know, I like how Kamikaze he was talking about everybody he was talking about his last album. Yeah. No, this is like I love the skits with Paul on that yeah. one. And Paul was like, "Are you just gonna come at everybody who fucking insulted you or something like that?" Like, <laughs> like, I'm like, "I'm outside this guy's house right now. Fucking Joe, Michigan. Joe, <laughs> Joe, <laughs> Joe can like end that so like Joe ends that so quick, not even rapping. Like he's like, he's like, all right, I'm gonna do another album about how you hated the last album. Like you did another album how you hated the last album. And you did another album how you hated the last album. Right. Like, how's you gonna do this shit? Yeah, right. And like he doesn't even gotta come with bars. Like he just says that on a podcast. And you're like, God damn, it's kind of right." <laughs> Sorry, he's kind of right. right. Like, I was my hero. Like, I was one of my favorite rappers of all time. But, like, Button is good as fuck at what he's doing right now. And, yeah, like, man, that's why I got that big revolt check. I, I mean, I don't know how many times yeah, I got to yeah. check him out more, man. I think the Blood reason podcast. I haven't checked him out more is because I was, I'm such, I wasn't and am such a fan of the rapper, Joe Button. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even the Rage of the Machine shit. People fire. say that. And I, I have so not fire. listened to Joe Button oh, so man. much. You should have listen to Joe Budden's solo shop. Listen to Slaughterhouse. I've I'm been. Yeah, I saw Slaughterhouse. So I was at that fucking show when. So you know, like right when they signed Slaughterhouse and Yellow Wolf. Oh yeah, the, the, the that's the show at uh at Royal 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 yeah, I was there. I was, popped out. Oh, bro. Yeah, I was there for that show too. The fucking last track, and it was like the shady. They did the shady. Yeah, because they both. Yeah, they both. Right, Yellow Wolf out first, and then all of a sudden Eminem. Can yeah, they both. Back. Got signed around the same time. Like, there was like, that fucking whole place, like, like, like bum rushed the stage. Dude. As soon as Eminem came out, yeah, yeah, it was, it was fucking sick. crazy in there. Yeah, man. But, like, he's also, like, I feel like Royce should be 
talent and what's up a little bit, though. You know what I mean, though? So, like, so that was around the time Royce and M started being cool again, though. I know, but, like, Royce is, like, I think Royce is the best MC for Detroit. I mean, M, like, I feel what you're saying, but M should be able to, like, listen to his shit and then listen to Royce's shit and be able to be like, I need to go back in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but I did like I did like Kamikaze. I ain't gonna say her on you. I did oh like my Kamikaze. god! I think it's super fire. And it was easy. It was more easily digestible than than C five. I'm still trying to work my way through C five. Yeah. It's just I don't know. I, I always get to that fucking Travis Scott joint. Asshole rope. No, nah, the fucking oh the collab. Yeah, yeah. way shit. And then I'm just I have a hard time making it past there because he's just like. Cross the line, I cross your mind, I bust your mind, I cross your mind, you open mind, I bust your mind. Dude, that line <laughs> fucked me up so hard. <laughs> I was fucking laying in bed while I was listening to that. I had just got done smoking and I was like, what is going on right now? He just rapped line with line like yep. 80 times in a row. Yeah, then he's like, <laughs> I'm rough around the edges like checkers fries, that's a line. And it's like, okay. All right. oh, we have a God. new collab album. Coming out. Who that is? Uh, Future and Juice World. <laughs> I like Juice So is Jordan Lucas's album coming out tomorrow? Because man, that fucking. I don't think can so. Can I play the snippet real quick? Oh, like from his fucking. Y'all like Lupe album? Um, yeah, we did, we did a whole that, thing about that's that. That's on my. That's in my top ten. Of 2018. Yeah, right? that oh, drove us away. Yeah, that's already. Whole thing I've only listened that. to it all the way through. Yeah, I, I love Manila. Is probably my favorite song on there. Manila is my yeah. favorite song on there for sure. Yeah, we did a whole thing about people that can like. Uh, still, to me though, number one is Royce of Five Nines Book of Rhyme, because I don't I, think I, I can't I, even like, call my favorite it's album so this year yet. Fucking personal that I just feel honored that he let us even fucking hear that shit. Like it's like that's that album is so deep. It's so it's so it's so, it's so much and it's shit like it it, it it is very exposing. I'm listening, fuck fuck I'm listening to fucking the shit kind of swimming. I've listened to swimming swimming. J Rock every Redemption fucking day since it came Ryan, out. Book of Ryan are my three favorites. Yeah, I've never listened shit. to like two songs before Book of Ryan came out. J Rock's album is sneaky good. Oh, oh Redemption? Redemption is fire. Yeah. Like that, the bloodiest is my, I think that's my favorite song, the first song. Man and uh, Win. Out of Sight, Out of Mind is crazy. Oh, the one with the one with Kendrick, too. Uh, he's like, can we kick it like we did with Top at the Red Charger? Yeah. yeah. So I would say. Yeah, well, yeah, Red Charger. So, so far, I'm. I'm uh, Probably like Nipsey. I'm probably like Nipsey Cole. Nipsey Cole, Kendrick. Did Damn Drop 18? Was that 18? That was last no, year. 17. Okay, so Nipsey, Nipsey Cole. But the Black Panther soundtrack was this year. Though. Black Panther soundtrack was this year. Yeah, yeah. fucking crazy. So right now I'm like Nipsey, Nipsey Cole swimming. I'm going to go with my Dark Horse album. Is, uh, I'm going to go with Denzel Curry Taboo. It's, probably, uh, it's one of my top five. Okay, I see I'm, you. I, fucking I, love, I love that album. I've been hitting uh, that. I would put KOD up there. Yeah, me too. Yeah, uh, is, oh my god! Saba, Saba. I would me. also Saba agree with you with swimming because the swimming has been on like daily rotation. Yeah, not even that Mac, you know, passed yeah, away. Mac was alive, it just, it's just a fucking great album. Be, be like 2009 there. is still probably one of my favorite songs. Right, right. I was listening to her feelings yesterday. Man, he's he's amazing. <laughs> Mac Miller was fucking amazing. Yeah, and then anything that currency dropped can easily go. Out. Yeah, currency's like uh, fire in the sky. That fucking. Oh, um, I got diamonds on this one because I got mm. diamonds on that one. Mm. That was just. Mm. Davies and Styles P, beloved. I gotta hear that. I gotta hear that Davies joint. Uh, Belly's immigrant. That's a good. One. Oh, immigrant was fucking dope. <laughs> um, uh, I would throw that East Atlanta love letter in there too. Right? East Atlanta love letter. Black, black, that black. That black, yeah, black is dope. LMA shit is fire. I haven't listened to that one yet. Me either. Um, Astro World, Astro World's good. What y'all think about the Drake shit? Scorpion? Uh, I wasn't a fan. Yeah, I wasn't. Part of, like part of it was okay, but overall, I didn't really. The Drake, I, I, the Drake of Metro shit is more as I listen to it, it keeps growing on me. Then you got to put Lupe up there. Oh, Lupe's is crazy as fuck. Book of Ryan, like you said. Book of Ryan. Uh, question mark album X. Okay, I haven't, I, I, I like never really fucked with X like that. I'll have to, to do Question mark it. album. Like, because that dude literally did everything. Like, every genre of music is on that fucking album. Word. Well, not every genre of music, but most genre of music are on that fucking album. Because he did, like, a whole song, like, 
in Spanish. He got like some fucking mosh pit stuff. He got like some R and B stuff. Yeah, I know like, he's doing the, the, like that dude. Y'all gotta check out fucking Reason's album. Reason is amazing. He's T D E's newest artist. Okay. Um, I've been listening to that a lot lately. Uh, let's see. What Boss, else Milky Way. Milky Way, yeah. Milky Way. Yeah, I love Milky, Milky Way. Way. is definitely going to be a top shit ever, ever since. So Chad, he doesn't have anything coming out this year, does he? Uh, I don't Who know. Knows. I think Kaz dropped this year. I think Kaz's album was, was solid. He has, he has some solid features on there. I'm going to play this for you guys for a second. You still got stuff to go Big Crip, was that 18? That, that was last year. That was last year. Awesome. Yeah. The yeah, the He's clipping like a mug, bro. Where is Jordan from? He's from LA? No, he's from uh, somewhere on the East Coast. Not New York or anything. Jordan looks like he would be like some like. He's from DC. Jordan looks like. Maybe, I have no idea. No, I think he's somewhere East Coast. Let me check. Jordan looks like he would be surprisingly. This is the only shot I love. Like. Yeah, he's, he's somewhere around there. We're not going to Midwest, but uh, I, I, when, when High <laughs> told me he had the album coming out of Chris Brown, I was like, oh yeah, it's the last. <laughs> it's over. Oh, that uh, yeah, that album was that album gonna be dope. Oh yeah, yeah. from Massachusetts. Woo. Oh, Shout out to East Coast. Dude, somewhere, Wor- Worcester, Massachusetts. Shout out Michael Christmas, man. Yeah. Oh, this video. Looking like Arius. He does look like fucking Arius. <laughs> he looks like a tatted up Arius. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. I don't think rapping in front of a car will ever get old in hip hop. Nope. Nope. It's crazy how much video you can fit into a one minute clip. It's crazy. <laughs> that's hard. That's hard. Uh-huh. That's hard. Got the mannequin rap. Shout out to Jordan Lucas. We fucking love him. Jordan. We're big fans in this Jordan, fucking podcast. Jordan Michael Christmas, uh, cousin Shiz, man. Shout out to Boston, man. Hip hop everywhere, dog. Is the album actually coming out tomorrow? Because it says ADHD. That's, I think that's a. I don't know. I'm not hip. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. It says. No, new record driving. No, maybe it's not coming out, but he announced this fuck. It's, it's coming soon. Disturbed. Jordan, I need the album. I was talking about Disturbed. has an album coming out tomorrow. Who does? Disturbed. Disturbed, the band? Yes. Holy shit. I haven't heard about them in a minute. Yeah, they're going on tour, actually, too. I never really got into that kind of music. I fucking love Disturbed. Did you? Yes, I fucking love Disturbed. I loved, like, I did, like, a couple of them hardcore you know, like, like that. You know, like, Disturbed has an Obama co-sign. What? Because there's a man dude from Chicago. They're, off, they're from Chicago. Really? Yeah, that's right. I gotta check out one. I like Brew. Tool, and Brew? I liked uh... War Brew. Oh shit! Yeah, they were on. Uh, you ever seen that show on Netflix? With uh, it's like the weed cooking competition. Yeah, I think so. They yeah, Warm Brew is on there. I actually meant to check them out just because okay. of that. Yeah, they're they're um, performing with Dom. So I mean, oh, really? them them Dom and Kai. So I'm nice. Them on. So that was nice. nice. Hell yeah. Cooking on high, cooking on high. That's what it's called. By the way. Okay. Dude, you see fucking uh, Action Bronson like come at Vice? Yes, and I actually was I was bumping some Action Bronson today because yeah, what the yeah. fuck was that about? So it was about like they were coming at his like color, you know, because he had that show Fuck That's Delicious. Yeah. yeah. They were coming at his like culinary expertise or something like that, and like kind of pretty much just trying to say like, oh, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Wow. I saw I saw him go on fucking he was a chef in New York for many many exactly. years. Exactly. Yeah, he went on like, right on Twitter. He was like. Fuck you and fucking Vice. I was like, you guys have never done shit for me. I've only done nothing but like make your fucking shit way bigger. Like, fuck you for disrespecting like, all yeah. this shit. That was crazy. Well, fuck Vice. Shout out Barcelona, man. Yeah, I shout out Tyler Grader on the show on there, too. Like, yeah. We love Extra Bronson. I like them Vice shows, but oh well. Damn. Whatever. It is what it is. Bronson, though, man. I, I need to get his cookbook, man. I've been watching all that shit. He's fired. I will actually don't mind the vice. That what's the one with two chains? Uh, most expensive this. Yeah, I thought that was doing like Spike or some was shit. It, I, that I, might be vice. That was vice. That might be vice. Yeah, he's always doing like the most expensive haircut, most expensive <laughs> bottle of water. Yep, and shit like that. 
I like little podcasts like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was telling about the hot ones and shit. I so fucking I love hot ones. That shit is tight. I would love to go hot ones. Shout out my dog, Ames. Mike C. It's his podcast, the Mike C podcast. Ames Ames podcast. Podcast. Mike Cox? Yeah. Yeah, shout out. Yes, sir. You know. But hell yeah, man. Let's see. Um, we got anything else before we want to fucking wrap this boy up? We have like 2.43 right now. Oh, shit. We did three hours? Oh, close. Damn oh, near it. We can wrap Damn it, man. man. Uh, <clears throat> all your shit, my friend. You already know that. Before we get up out of here, uh, if you need to find anything about your boy, just go to fourthandgoldrecords.com, 4th and Gold Records, uh, like it's spelled out. All my links will be at the bottom of that joint. So, like Snapchat, SoundCloud, whatever you need to find. Um, if you're looking for me or anything else, just search it, man. Uh, look for any titles, search it, Google Play, any, you know, all streaming platforms, man. I'm easy to find. I look at your boy. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. Find me. I hate E-Man Bates pretty much everywhere. Or you can follow the Beats and Brews page. Beats That's underscore play, and underscore Brews. Neil Ricker is, was it, Red Wings? Red Wings 518. 518, yeah. 518 on one of the others. Oh, 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 shit. Appreciate Wait you, bro. I wanted to pop this shit. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I got one of the last ones that still has a disc drive on it, so I can actually play it. I got, I I got, you, I got you a sticker on the back and a download card. Oh, oh shit. Hell yeah. Oh, There's <laughs> a sticker on the back. <laughs> However you rock it. Hold All this right. shit. I'm about to put the sticker on my laptop right However now. However you rock it. Um, you know Easy. No, but on the way out, I got to play this record. We got the fourth and golf shirt off. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. good plug. Holler at me. You know, inquire for the DMs. I'm about to um, DM for inquiries. I'm about to have the uh, the cart set up on the website shortly. Awesome. Hell yeah. So, I've been talking to YG Habibi on the fucking. Are you about to play that? Uh, yeah, I'm about to play this record. Luke, Luke Bell. Luke Luke I think, I think he might be a dance, genius. Though. I can't do the dance, but I wish I. Could I think I think this man might be a genius because it's the most fucking catchy song of all <laughs> it, time. It might be the most catchy song I've heard locally. Period. Yeah, he's I'm got crazy. a big buzz. Yeah. 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 I can get I can get a little bit of 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 I don't care because we poppin' Lou Bel Air. I'm hot, baby. You know that I'm rare. If you wanna fuck me, just because I'm hair. If you wanna fuck me, just because I'm gay. So I hit them both just because I can. I be poppin' Lou Bel Air with all my gang. When we poppin', I'll get them a dagger chain. 20,000 I deposit at the bank. Swap my card and wait until it feel my tank. Go against me, I suggest you don't go there. Cause we pull up and we pop in Lou Beller. Everybody riding finna let it flare. Everybody riding finna take it there. Yeah, Ain't no pussy in hot TV, I ain't scared. Like, Fresh and green, like, 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 wet Georgia. Like, 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 where you stay? Watch that bitch, you a mess. I can't love you, you a hoe, and I ain't worried about a bitch. But I love that shiny shit. I have diamond shit. You can not find this shit, and if you did, then you ain't buying it. I be smoking on some belly, belly, they be flying it. If they run up on me, all I say is they'll be This dude, YG and BB, he's got a fucking pretty big following coming on right now. Like, we've been, we've seen him, all of us have seen him live. Like, it's fucking, it's